Yes, Phoenix had a countdown for us. We're live. And you hit it right when you did it. I know, right? Yeah. So, what's going on, everybody? Friday Night Live. This week, I've got a 1.9 Wraith on the bench. I got this in... I don't remember. Uh, Scale Nationals. And I haven't touched it. It's still new. But I haven't had a 1.9 Wraith for a while. I sold my last one. It's like a tag they put on the... It's like a safety tag. It's like the one that goes on your mattress. Do not remove. That's neat to be removed. So, uh, but I need to prep something for Axial Fest. And Which is, but it's not for like three weeks, right? Uh, two weeks? Two weeks. Yeah, it's two weeks away. But the... Uh, I'm gonna, I plan to take my Ripper, but I figured I would like to have at least one other rig ready to go. So this is the choice. Therefore... Because what the specifications of Axial Fester that you have, it has to be an Axial product. It has to be an Axial. But which, people ask if you can use, if they can use like VS410s or stuff, but like... But no, because that's not an Axial. Right, but things in it though, right? What? You can use like vanquish parts in your axle. Yes, right? and that's what we we're going that's to do tonight. Saying. Yes, we're going to do many upgrades tonight to make this. There will be a lot of vanquish on this by the end. I mean, you're not going to finish it tonight. Shh. We'll see. So, can I talk about this really quick? You talk about whatever you'd like. Unibody Wheeler dropped this off for me, and it's now my new favorite beer ever. And he wrote me a very nice note. Yes. Yeah, he stopped by the shop uh, um, yesterday. Yeah, and it is amazing. And it is from Sacramento, so he's trying to get me to like Sacramento more. <laughs> yes, it, you know. But I just have to say how sweet I thought it was and um, kind and how much we appreciate. Yeah. And this is freaking amazing. It is so good. Uh, Nicole asked me to try it and I try, and I wasn't ready because it was, it's a sour beer and oh my God, it is sour. Yeah. Like I but just was so not. It's smooth as raspberry and rose hip. It's so good. It was. Paul Stewart, he was $5. He said, where can I get a crystal for a receiver? <laughs> Paul, I'm pretty sure Paul, like I believe A-Main still carries Traxxas, Traxxas crystals, but that I think he said that once before, and it was like the funniest comment I ever saw. So, are you those like crystals for your receipt? Like the never ending story, or right? Something? That's how you power them. You can use crystals instead of batteries, and your your aura's energy oh, helps you. <laughs> no, um, they yeah, used to. This is from the UK. First time I managed to stay awake for a Friday night live stream. Well, welcome. Thank you for joining us. It's like seven hours, nine hours ahead of time over there. It's very. Why do we always have this conversation? I know. Neither of us knows. I know. Pretty sure it's like a lot. It's a lot of hours. Yeah. Seven or nine. Don't use crystals, fellas. <laughs> or crusty crystal, he said. Don't use cr <laughs> That sounds like something Jesse would have said. Yeah. So. We're it's 2 a.m. there. 2 a.m. That's not terrible. Still pretty late. Um, Is it 2 0? Oh. I'm waiting all day to watch and wrench. Well, I'm just down south from you guys in the Central Valley. Well, it's hot here. I know it's hot there. Did you feel the earthquake yesterday? It was my first earthquake ever. Not mine, but. Oh, oops. No, Nicole was in, you were in one in Palm Springs on the 4th of July in 2019? Yeah, a long time ago. 20... Estonia. That wasn't that long ago. Uh, I mean... Back one nine tomorrow from Stephen at RC Country, says our local guy, Robbie Chapman. It's a good one. Paul it's... Steel Power Rocks gave us another $5. Thank Thanks, you. Thank you, Paul. Because I just bought a truck and trailer that I have to build and put together and do not know how to do it. <laughs> Let's see, a truck and truck. Well, I don't know if it actually came with the crystals. If so, that's an interesting one. Uh, you could probably get a cheap 2.4 radio though for like 20 bucks on somewhere and you'd be good to go. I would much- Felt it in Oakley. What's that? It's felt it in Oakley. I did, I just woke up and thought the San Andreas fault was from the beginning. It was wild. I'd never been in a, in a- uh, 
or it's like just off the view. Yeah, like, like I was just like ways. Except I was at work and definitely not drunk. And I was just like, well, yeah, I know what is that? What is that? And then, yeah, I felt the things. Um, where is the best way to get best place to get bulk hardware? Um, I think that the best place, if you're trying to for ease, it's uh, K and K, the monster bag. But otherwise, if you're not going, cats are having at it. Um, but otherwise, you can go to like McMaster Car, or if you want to walk in somewhere local to you, there's a good chance that you have a Fastenal near you. Um, but the thing is, is that they're not going to have like assorted sizes. You're going to have to be like, I want 112 millimeter, 110 millimeter, 108 millimeter, and tell them what you want. Where K and K just has a one click buy option. And you have a good a friend from South Africa right now. Hey, welcome. It's a place on our list. Maybe. What? I apologize if I butchered your name. Oh. Right, Junaid. Junaid. Juanaid. Juanaid. It's hard to say. Either way, thank you. Hello. So I am taking the drivetrain out of this truck for the most part because we're going to replace most of it. Thank you for answering my email on Traxxas Lights. Did not fully understand, but I like try in San Diego, Eric. No problem, Eric. Yeah, I got your email today and I tried to get back to you. That's a tough one, but I also have that same light kit and that same truck and will likely run into the same situation. So one of these days, um, hopefully I'll have a better answer for you. This is, I love this. Just got done riding my five-year-old nephew's 125 four-wheeler. It's a blast. He gave me a ride. That's the best. Yes. Riding things that are too small for you? Or just like when the little kids get to drive. Remember when Allie took you out on her four-wheeler at the yeah. house? Yeah. Like, just, it's just. It's so cool to see them drive and like do stuff. I don't know. I love it. Yes. I have a, I've had a lot of fun on kids' pit bikes. Well, we I guess they're not called. Are, are they for kids? I feel like they I are. But pit bikes. I've, I've, very, I've seen many more adults ride them than kids. To do the fastback mod on the 1.9. Yep. Yes, I will. Fast fastback mod? So, yeah, you, take, like you take these uh, lower links. Yeah. And you cut the back of the cage off and then you put them from here to here and they it basically looks like the rest of the cage. I did a video on it once. Hmm. Interesting. Rob Montana just gave us five dollars. What's up? What? Thank you. Just Rob, watching you were just watching your videos. Your videos. It's from beautiful Montana and being jealous of of you soaring around. Not that, but the I was. Well that's fine. Not me, but <laughs> the area. Nicole doesn't love heights. I don't. The video of me on YouTube in full motorcycle gear on a tiny pink electric Barbie scooter. I'm <laughs> working a NASCAR race tomorrow, hoping to get to ride some pit bikes. Working a NASCAR race? Well, that sounds like a fairly interesting Saturday. So. Josh, why did you not get the orange one this time? Oh my gosh, I just swung so my glass. I'm not drunk, I swear. Um, so I... Because I bought this out of opportunity. It wasn't a truck that I was planning to buy. I didn't buy it retail. Oh, weird. I bought, <laughs> I bought it from somebody who... You won truck in, it was a truck you were planning to buy? <laughs> I'm being serious. Like, I was planning to buy that. Uh, I bought the... the. Oh, you're an idiot. The The... Racing sidecar and the buggy raw. An actual, tr like. And that bug. And that what? The VW bug. Isn't it cute? <laughs> Sometimes things happen. Always. I need to take away all of your PayPal and everything. <laughs> I need to change all of the passwords. Right. Except you'd have to ask me how to do that. I'll ask somebody else, <laughs> Alex. Can you figure this out? Can I give you my birthday and social security number? And <laughs> for some reason, I feel like Alex probably already has that for some reason. He's like, I got it. Don't worry. Yeah. Cool with that. <laughs> yeah. I'm cool with that. Um, I'm planning on building one of those 
these with Capra axles. Any thoughts? Let's see. Um, the only difficulty I could see there is that you're going to either need to do um, some sort of pan hard setup for the Capra, or you're going to have to go to servo on axle, but there's chash, you know, clearance issues in the chassis. So um, you're going to have to figure that out because this one comes chassis mount servo and you're going servo on axle or the ones you're using go servo on axle. So. I really want your class two rig for Sorco specs. Oh. Do you have something okay. that actually works for Sorco specs? Yeah, the one I went and competed at the Sorco complex. Oh. The one, the silver one over right there. Yeah, Jesse, that's what I always say. I'm like, if somebody stole my identity, I'm like, sucks for you guys. You shouldn't have worked so hard for that. <laughs> <laughs> like, gonna pay down my student loans. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Oh, Junaid. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I was a fan of your videos from, since before we moved. Hey, that's been a while. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Kenneth is building a budget associated B6 street stock. Budget associated. Oh, oh, B6. Okay. That Sorry. I don't know the go fast stuff very well. Also, every time someone says something, I have to like stop and really think about what it is. They'll return it and give me money out of pity. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the LED light pods are made for a 10 millimeter bolt. What LEDs would you use in the VS410 Pro? Um, if you want just an easy one, you can get the OEM light kit from PowerShift RC. Or if you want to do just a little bit of figuring out yourself, uh, you can get just some 10 millimeter LEDs off of like Amazon that are ready for 12 or ready for 12 volt. So that'll work fine with a 3F lipo and you can make your own for a few bucks. Right on. Yep. Travis Gilmore, because I remember when you did the OG Poison Spider race, I actually, that truck was yeah. around for so long that I remember that one. That was, a, that was, uh, yeah. I remember I went and ran it on the abandoned mini golf course by my parents at a. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Not a top from the Big Splash. Or big, what is that place called? Is it Big Splash? Or Big something. Big. Big Surf? Big Surf. Yes. What we're going to own when we retire. Like, I I want to own a water park when we yeah. retire. For some reason, Nicole has the white trash dreams of owning a. Uh, hillbilly water park in the Ozarks. Yeah. <laughs> don't, they don't even let OSHA come there. <laughs> like, you, just, you have to sign a, like, a, a release that's like a dictionary to get in there. I assume. I assume. <laughs> I mean, but like, when people are going to agree with me that owning a water park sounds like an amazing thing to do. Really? Yeah. It's just a fish tank of of teenagers pee like like everyone's having fun yeah so you couldn't want to own like a strip club like the strip clubs at the lake i remember a stripper burned one down one time <laughs> it's like an eclipse or something and she yeah because she was mad about something so <laughs> No, so that, I mean, I feel like you have more liability at a strip club, bigger chance of getting diseases than you do at a water park. I think it's probably pretty close. I mean. Bet, I bet you. <laughs> things, things that a strip club and a water park have in common. <laughs> chance for disease. It's near the top of the list. Yeah. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Question. That was a lot. I bet that was super loud. <laughs> when are you going to do a truck 114 scale video? Um, this, the RCPC, as soon as I it finished it. Because that's 114. That stupid thing has been sitting there for way too long. It has been. And I almost finished it the other day, and I screwed up my machining. Yeah, oh, you're right. The governor's... It wasn't the governor's kid. It was... Uh, that was our local... What? Oh, the Schlitter, Schlitterbahn, like which is kid or something. Yeah, a local comp. Like, yeah, Schlitterbahn, worst name for a water park ever. Uh, 
there's like a big water slide where these it's you like put multiple list. people multiple people on it. Anyway, yeah, long story not so long, a kid lost his head. I mean, just by that all. The I mean, time. they knew where it was, but all the time when we were like, "That is really tall." <laughs> yeah, there was. It was like was ten stories of, of stairs to go up. Yeah. And... That's, mm, Wild. That's dangerous, and then it ended up being dangerous. Really dangerous. Yeah. All right. So we now have a Wraith One Nine chassis, and now we can begin. So we've got axles and electronics and transmission that. What I need the skid plate. Are you talking to me? Yes. Um, remember when you used to yell at me because I would say that's a skid plate? No, I never would have yelled on at my, you. Well, you. Oh yeah, because you called the small like guard at the bottom of the bumper of the Honda Accord the skid plate. No, it was underneath my Firebird, and it was like a. And the Honda. Oh, I didn't know the Honda had it. I never hit anything with that. You hit something. That's how. That's when you stopped. Every time you'd come to a parking curb. And then I'd get in the car. Wait, we'd get in to go somewhere. And I'd put it in reverse. And they'd go. <laughs> like, you can stop before that makes noise. But like. What is for? No. Every time I'd get in that car. Like. How, how do you else do you know that you're all the way up? You, you pull forward until it went bonk. Like, oh, subframe. We're at the curb. Those those Hondas are indestructible. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> okay. Oh, we gotta get the ESC out. I think our lag is pretty big today. Yeah. Because somebody who said that sounded so weird with the noise canceling. I'm assuming it was oh. sneeze. It could have, or it could have been with the the uh oh, Craig Banks is selling his VS410 for doing other stuff. Depressing day. Oh. Mike J wants to know why is a castle 1415 2400 KB is about the same as a 1410 4000 KB? As far as power, or what do you mean by Price, that? Maybe? Uh, I, yeah, it's hard. I mean, I don't know exactly what you mean by the same. One 1415 is going to be longer. Um, and if, as far as if you mean, yeah, power between a 2400 and a 4000, it's just going to be how you gear it. Oh, Josh's impression of the air damn scraping sounded weird. Oh. <laughs> Where's the best place to order kits from here in South Africa? Oh. Not so available like Axial Trailer. I, 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 w I wish I had any, any way to tell you. I, I really don't know. I don't have any. Oh, just the A main or uh, Horizon? You know? I mean, A main, Horizon's exporting has been weird. They like, change some because things but a lot of no this was like for the last couple of years mm. man i never noticed these really weird uh cable routing things that they had in this car and i guess i thought i should have but maybe i just forgot stop with the firebird talk i still want another one so bad i can paste it a v6 94. yeah nicole had the v6 yeah but what did I do? There. Josh, I always wanted to open a strip club where the tip of South Dakota ends in Nebraska called Just the Tip. <laughs> right in the Sioux, Sioux City area? Sioux? No. What? Why? Is it Sioux City? Yeah. Is that where Russell and Ellie got married? No, that's further up. That was, uh, is that Yankton? Yeah, it is Yankton. Everyone's being way too quiet. I'm yeah. The <laughs> Why are the cats not making any noise? Yeah. So, ooh, my one nine rage to stay on its wheels more than its roof. I really like how the one nine rage. There's plays. a white IROC Z around the corner from me. Is it for sale? Okay. Did Josh show you my real interior versus his foam interior? Is that Mike J? Yeah. No, I did not, Mike J. Honestly, I w probably wouldn't have known the difference. What do you know about Yankton? We've been to Yankton. I have a box over there, right there. That's to be uh, to be inventoried. It's, I have a system. To be inventory. Yeah, we'll see how long it's there. Now, look at how small that box is and look at all of those. Those are all inventoried. I guarantee you haven't put anything away in them since you've done it. That's not true. Okay. 
This. Oh, he says yes. It is for sale, but I don't have it stopped because I don't want to be disappointed on the up close appearance. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Wait. fun. They're just like they're the poor man's Corvette. I mean, the the, those there. years you could just buy a Corvette. They're probably worth less than the Irox Z. Irox were cool. They were like novelty. I the Irox were awesome. Yeah, I feel like they. Yeah. But seriously, it is way too quiet out there. Beep beep. Beep beep. Chris Hardison says hello. If the outboard motor for the flex sail truck was in there, it would be inventory. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard it been called a mullet man's Corvette. Yeah. Blue one. Have you not had that for a while? No, nope, I had the black one. The... Yeah, Tone I rock you need a mullet. I'm watching from Nakona, Texas this week. It's about 25 degrees cooler here than back home. Oh, Perry G. Oh, that's. Is it. What's the humidity like, though? It's Texas. Texas is humid still? Not that bad. It depends on where you're at. Not that bad. I'm going to finish this before the Unibody Wheeler gets on here and I can do a thank him. <laughs> what? I'll just cut it. It's fine. Oh my god, Josh. My hands don't fit in there. Thank you. You're so helpful. Oh my goodness. Wow. She hates you, bro. <laughs> Why did th there we go is it true you don't fit in axial fest if you're not sporting a mullet not not west coast maybe right. maybe east coast oh it's been raining all week in san antonio yeah haven't had that problem here Quite dry and still 110 degrees outside. Literally. AC not exactly keeping up. We're on our fourth straight day of 115 here in Utah, but it's a dry heat. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> but you're in Kansas City. What are you doing in Utah? No, John moved to Utah. Why? Yeah, because it's Utah. Well, I know. But like, wow. I know. That's a big. Super jealous. Beautiful place, yeah, too. Yeah. For sure. Yep. Yeah. Um, my Z28 beat Firebirds all the time, although my dad was a former brakes mechanic and motor had stuff done to it. Mm -hmm. Stuff. Had some stuff done. <laughs> all right. Tower has the Audi TTO2 kit for about 105 through tomorrow. Shipped would make for a cheap fret. Why did I read that? <laughs> because I don't read things before I say them out loud. <laughs> it was just spelled well and looked Nick like... Nick Russo is in Old Town? Old Town Sock? Well, Do you live in Old Town Sock? Yeah, that's the only Old Town I know. Oh, that's pretty cool. Or is it the actual name of a town? Because I still want to know where that's at. <laughs> um, Both the guys I crawled with moved a couple weeks ago. One to Arkansas, one to Tahoe. Any good spots near Fresh Pond? It's about halfway... For each of us. Ta Wait, Tahoe and where? Arkansas. Oh, wow. Like Mount Magazine <laughs> in Arkansas? Yeah, Mount Magazine. It's beautiful. Where's my... Oh, there it is. I get it. Um, Halfway in between the... That's a pretty broad halfway. Fresh Pond. Do you know what that is? I have no idea. We are... Oh, you're... He's visiting. Oh, no. Why? Going to Joe's Crab Shack. <laughs> or he's going to get some fudge. Ooh, the Firehouse Steakhouse down there is delicious. I mean, we wouldn't go there on our own if we were paying. But it's very expensive. But we went there with some friends that... that Treat us. Always smiled. Because we're the children. Yeah. We're the mid-30s children. Yeah. That they never had. 
Stephen Williams says, hey, Josh, your last Rubicon edit you did, my dad was in one of the Jeeps in the clip, and I kept watching uh, it over and over. <laughs> That's cute. That's awesome. Was he with the guys from Grass Valley? Or I wonder if he was another. Huh. I stopped and talked to a handful of them for a while. <laughs> Every muscle guy, car guy in the 80s has got a three-quarter race cam and a lot of go-fast secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Jiffy, are you talking about Fresh Pond above Placerville? There you go. Perry oh, will know better. Oh, there we go. Oh, his sister lives out here. In Old Town. Very cool. Could be a cool place. There's some cool apartments above some... So cool. I know. I would live in one in a heartbeat. Fresh Pond is next to Pollock Pines. Oh, oh man. There's some beautiful places up there. Holy crap. I feel like that's rude. What? Watching Deliverance on TV, but listening to Nicole and Josh, banjo picking extreme. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was just a few Jeeps and one clip right before the slabs. Ah, nice. Worked it, Big Surf. Not what? that awesome. And Big Shots was the name of the mini golf area. We, we Amazing. My in-laws lived off Y Road. Yeah. I mean, everybody lives off Y Road, but... <laughs> no, I'm pretty much. Oh, uh, my family lives off Lakeview. Well, yeah. The lake, the name of the street is Lakeview. You know what that street doesn't have? A Lakeview. Not when all the trees are dead. <laughs> yeah, when there's no trees, you could see it. You can see down onto it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right, right over there, there's a, tr there's a lake. You just can't see it. <laughs> I mean. Good old... Good old Ozarks. Yeah, he's like, oh yeah, Y Road. I'm like, mm -hmm. they lived on a nice part of Y Road. The <laughs> trailers were across the street. Oh, Y Road is pretty nice. Not necessarily. All the houses you pass before you get to like the lake area. Oh, those are trailers, but the ones on the other side are good. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Warning note on the copperhead instructions. The copperhead tent is not intended for human or animal propulsion. <laughs> I want to know the origin of that. Of that note. Travis says, bad thing about 80s muscle is that the V8s had less than 200 horsepower and they all got beat by a black Buick. Yep. Alex says, I love those black Buicks. Oh, they're the best. Nicole and I both would love a G body. Yeah. Didn't even have to be the black one. Just just any of them that we could put some 26s under. Soulmate. Yep. So what do you like best for at so best Cisco Grove or Donner? Um, I like the rock at Donner better. I like the conveniences of Cisco better. Yeah. But how, the Rocket Donner, I think, is superior. How bad is the double-A pack for the Dancing Rider? None of my locals have a limo that fits. Um, I never I never used it. I don't know. I found uh, I'm using an E-Flight pack. So it's like a little 1800 milliamp 2S LiPo for a plane um, that fit in there. So there were, I mean, like there's a couple of LiPos specifically for it, but I just found one that was close enough. So a light bulb limo, whatever. Yeah, I knew what he meant. Um, wow, the chat's going crazy. Can you describe someone would like you to describe what you're doing? Oh, right now I am building a new transmission. This is a Vanquish transmission kit. So it comes with an aluminum housing. It comes with machine steel gears, uh, chromoly outputs, a slipper eliminator top shaft. So it basically, it's just a fully built transmission in a bag. Everything you need in one bag for a completely decked out transmission. So rather than rebuilding the stock one, I just throw this guy in. Num says, been wanting a 1.9 Wraith and had to check to see if A-Main had the black ones back in stock. They do. May have to pull the trigger meow, thanks to you. I linked it in the description. Oh, so if, buy it through his. If you click that link, I get, I, get some, I get some points with them. When will the you get the pink 1.9 wheels back? Uh, we only did those for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So we we might do those again in October this year, just with like a different type. Um, so check October. Okay. 
Would either of you go into space at two hundred fifty thousand dollars per ticket, like Kathy Perry is doing? I mean, I would absolutely go, but I mean, I don't think that that's an option. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> man, right, two hundred fifty thousand dollars. I could buy half a house in in California, right? If we could pay for that, we could buy a whole house. Yeah, a whole two bedroom house. <laughs> not Ooh. not. Thing. Not in a real nice area or anything, but oh, <laughs> fuck this! Place. Oh my god, Carolina Ghost gave us five dollars. Thank you. Hey, Josh Nicole from Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Hope you're both having a great start to your weekend. Getting my class one and two ready for a local comp tomorrow. Man, there's a comp next weekend in the Bay Area that I would like to go to. Class one and two sounds like a good time. I don't know if I will or not next weekend. I don't think so. So this transmission kit comes with a 56 tooth spur, um, but I'm going to change to a 52 tooth because the brushless system that I'm putting in is slower than I would normally use. So I'm going to gear up a little bit. Paul Steel Powerhawks gave us another $5. Thank you so much. Like, Could I see yeah. a RC truck? So that is built because it's confusing. <laughs> it's having <laughs> problems. Uh, I just, I wish I had more time. I used to do that a little bit more, but... I just, I've been, I've got so many things that I want done and out of here that I've, I've had to not do that lately. Um, is there uh, any other rock crawler with a roll cage specifically and more durable than the gatekeeper considering the bad gears and the enduro you mentioned the last couple of weeks to me? Um, I mean, this one is kind of the, the, what I would replace it with. The Wraith 1.9. Now, it doesn't have a chassis underneath of it. It is the chassis. So that's the difference. Um, it, it's funny you mentioned that my gatekeeper is actually right behind me. And that's what I'm going to steal the electronics out of for this. In that truck, I had the fusion system. So I'm going to take that and drop that in here. Um, and I'm going to steal the servo out of it too. I just haven't really driven that. Actually, Rob, Montana, I had lent it to him for a month or two. And I haven't touched it since he sent it back. So you should have kept it. Right. Um, lavender beadlocks. Lavender represents all forms of cancer. I didn't know that. I didn't either. Robbie Chapman, our local friend, says he battled non yeah. Hodgkin's lymphoma for nine years. Yeah, I saw his. Uh, wow. His uh, YouTube. His YouTube name is like fuck cancer. We feel that way too. Yep. We feel that way too. That's for sure. But that's cool. Lavender is cool. Lavender would be beautiful. And lavender would be awesome. Yeah. Um, I was unaware of that fact. You could oh, donate to American Cancer Society. Mm -hmm. That's what, so when we did the uh, pink ones, the huge chunk of that went to uh, Susan B. Coleman. Yeah. All right. Love this channel. Great stuff. Hello, RC. Thank you. Hello, hello. Josh, do you know if I built an F toy on a TF2 chassis, would it be a class one legal? Um, so the hard part about trying to make that class one legal is the tire coverage rules. Um, so while you could make a lot of the other things work, I don't think you would be able to make that work in class one for a couple of... There might be some other things that would also cause that to not be class one legal. But tire coverage alone with an F toy um, would be difficult for a class one. Robbie, we would love to have it. Bring us a cancer swag. Let's see, my Mamba X quick start guide also says not for human or animal propulsion. Huh. <laughs> I, I mean, Roomba says that. I mean, good luck keeping a cat off of it. I think our cats would be afraid of it. You think Chief would be afraid of it? They sit there, the robo litter box goes off and they all walk, they go in there just to put their head in there and watch it spin. Yeah, they do. And that thing's loud. Uh, 17G code, I'm so sorry. Okay. All right. Josh, have you talked any more about that big thing going on in your room where your shelves are? What? No, I have not. What are you going to do with, you're going to take those shelves down? No. What's he talking about? Not 100% sure. I just agree with people sometimes. I don't necessarily even know. What's your preference on Allen drivers? What the fuck do I care if you I'm take dead. those down? I'm not taking them down. 
I'm just adding something to the wall. What are you adding? Well, I, I am taking those three down. Never mind. I lied. I was thinking those shelves. I forgot I have shelves over here. What are you going to do? What are you going to put up there? Um, Something glowy. I'm going to take this computer out and build a computer that mounts on the wall. You have a computer right there. You have a computer right this there. This one. I'm Glows like a fucking bar sign out there. Like you don't need any more this one, glows or computers. This one's going back to EVGA. Matt Good. And I, Matt and I are sending them to EVGA. Awesome. And in exchange. Oh God. I need their number. <laughs> I need in exchange, number. we're going to do some. I need their number. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, while on vacation, I saw the first double roundabout exit on ramp. The first person I thought of was you. Oh my god! Where were you at? I do love a good double roundabout exit. Really I've designed my daughters it. Summer and Tabea wanted to say hello. I apologize if I said that wrong. Where's that? Oh, well, hello. Hello. Thank you for saying, hey, girls. Hello. Thought you didn't care, Nicole. <laughs> Took my gatekeeper, put the IFS on it with a cliffhanger body, running two twos, loving it. Yeah, I just there was a few uh, two twos. I could I could see some things because that was part of what I wasn't loving about it was just the approach angle, and I just think I prefer the one nine rate. For my one nine choice. Why is there a packing peanut in here? Oh, it must have been from when Rob sent it back. Oh, he actually did not like I wish you put that much care into things. I you pack things I well. I ship when I get to shipping, I ship well. Um he's cutting into the catnip bush. <laughs> <laughs> Do we buy catnip? I mean What are we talking about? Catnip, catnip. Oh, then, yeah, I do. Sometimes it comes with their toys. Oh. I mean, I don't know. What? Are you... I don't know what I was talking about. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Um, Josh, how do you monitor your longer 3D prints? My body's going to take like three plus days. Wow. Uh, honestly, I've never done a uh, a print that long. I usually I just send it and wake up in the morning and see if I've got a disaster because it's like monitoring. It's just like, well, it's either going to be a mess or not. Like, where do I keep doing with those snips? Um, Phoenix did do a good job packing. He put like <laughs> Taco Bell napkins into a Walmart bag and put them in there for packing. And you got to use what you have. It's like. Recycling. It's like recycling. <laughs> it's exactly recycling, but I get you. See, um, Adam grows his own catnip. What? It's a mint. It's mint. Really? Yeah. It's just a mint plant. Learn something every but day. Once, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Barry, do you give us $5? Thank you. Did you have any issues with the Orlando drive lines? I'm Finally finishing mine, and they seem to be really sloppy fit. Perry G, mine got... Is that the one his wife bought it that yes. Amy bought him one? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know, because, I mean, there was the one night full of frustration, followed by me shipping it to somebody else. Oh, Dana Surratt says, I have a Wi-Fi camera pointed at my printer, and my printer is plugged into a Wi-Fi switch. I monitor longer prints while at work. I've seen, like, the Octoprint ones that are kind of like that, but take less actual technical know-how it sounds like he's got something someone says connect your 3d printer to a raspberry pi get warnings when prints fail yep i've heard there's also ones that like can do detection with cameras to uh like see if the actual print is correct maybe that's the same type of deal but uh rizzy 643 rizzy says through the hobby i'm out bye okay sorry <laughs> That sucks. Like, thanks, it's, thanks for joining. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Do you run any Texas 2660 Big Board Shocks with Losey Springs on any of your crawlers or comp rigs? 
Uh, I used to. I have it in some time, um, but I have it. At, I have before. I used to machine the bodies. Used to machine the bodies down on my lathe myself because I've got a little lathe. Have you seen my baseball friend tuck it over? Up? I know that I'm not saying that right. So see ya. So long. Thanks for all the fish. You ruined that man for all hobbies. Did I really like? Sometimes I surprise myself. Did you get all the bearings sorted out from the disaster package of bearings? Who are you talking to? Was that me? I don't think I had a disaster package. Who says result? Really? What in the world did I do here? Hi, Chips. Don't let the door hit you. Um, what ESC do you recommend for an SCS 10 3? I have dynamite right now. Dynamite. Um, uh, if you're staying brushed, just get a Hobby Wing 1080. Super cheap, gets the job done. Good ESCs. Um, but yeah, just if you're staying brushed. If you're going to go brushless, then you end up with a lot of options and a, anywhere from, you know, 50, 60 bucks to $200. Um, I have $700. Don't know what to do with it. RC or 3D printing savings do you, account. Do you, do you have, do you have RCs already? Are you looking to trying to get into either? If you don't have a 3D printer and you have RCs, get a 3D printer. Um, Josh, put that car on the bench. We can see the scaler and it looks really weird. <laughs> can't see it. And I'm just like, oh, can't see it. <laughs> just fiddling about with my bits. I did. I like wired this in without any extra plugs. So I just have like this 3D print enclosure that I made to hold my receiver and stuff just like I don't I mean I guess I still am not going to these lights are making me sweat so bad that my hair is frizzing. Feel my feel it. Miss Frizz Miss Frizzle? Feel it. Feel it back of my neck. Feel it? It's hot, yeah. I know what <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, Blander gave us five dollars. Thank you. How how big was the quake yesterday? My first few after I moved to the West Coast from the Midwest back in the eighties freaked me out. Um, it was like a it was a six zero, but it was up by Tahoe, so it was a little over an hour away. Um, he felt it. I felt it good. I knew what I was just like, I think that's I think an earthquake. That's how I walk around every day though. Like everything, just, like my sinuses are always so clogged that I'm just, everything seems to kind of move like that for me. So, um, she's graceful, everybody. Let me tell you, but no, yeah, Josh felt, but when we first moved here before, I found out that they don't really have earthquakes here. Like every time a big truck would drive by, like, is that I'd be like, oh my God, we gotta get a big table. We need to buy a table. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't we have a table? <laughs> Why don't we have tables? We need to get on it. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to get under a door. Get in the bathtub with a mattress on top of you. No, it's a tornado. Get out of the building. Oh God! So yeah, we are so unprepared for life, actual life. But let me tell you, I can build an RC car with. I can build ten RC cars in this room. That is what insurance is for, my love. That is what insurance is for. Thoughts on revolver style motors? I'm planning on running one in a VS four ten I'm building. Full plate. <laughs> That's what everybody said. That it like. Felt really long. That it was really long. That's what she said. Title of your sex tape. What? Nothing. I'm trying to find opinion. I'm going to put a 3D printer name brand on my daughter's dance bag because that's where my 3D printer money goes. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute. You should use it for things like dance is expensive. I hear you should use it for things around the house. 3D printing. 
Yeah, I've made you things. You've literally not made me any. I made you something. You made me the one thing that holds your bra straps together. And I did not make you that. And then I made you cat ears one year for Halloween. And then I made you uh, the thing that held the iPad on the bike that you had. Oh, yeah. Um... And then you always ask for things that have to like go out in the sun. I know, like, yeah, like, that's not really useless to me. <laughs> like, oh, can't be in water, can't be in direct sunlight, can't like what what is it what can it do? Well, it's made of sugar, it'll melt. Like, well then get something that's not. I, I mean I have high temp materials, but I'm just like, ah, it's a pain to switch that over. You're an idiot. <laughs> so about those revolver motors. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. About the revolver motors. Um I I am more excited. I've got the Holmes, uh, the, what do you call it? Silencer Mini, or the Crawlmaster Minis call them now, which make them quieter, which now now I'm kind of back on board with them. Because otherwise, I found them to be super annoying to crawl with. All carbon fiber for Nicole, yes. I even have carbon fiber fingernail. Um, remember that carbon fiber fingernail? Stuff I got, I had for a while. Yes. That you ended up taking. I was gonna say, I was like, I didn't use it. Yeah, you did. Not on your fingernails. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, I did not have carbon fiber fingernails. Alex said that he printed seven or eight of those trash cans so to use for screw storage. Nice. That's cute. Why you gotta call it cute? You know, you ruin it with the cute. Really? I'm kidding. I obviously don't care. I've got a set of the cones outside for two years now and no change. I must have missed something. Probably talking about heat outside and all that. Oh. It can't get wet and it can't be in sunlight. What is he printing you, a gremlin? <laughs> 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 the Bigfoot's back up to five printers. HPP? HPP? I don't know what that means. I don't know. Uh, they sound so sweet, though. Revolver V2 snub nose here. Uh, I, it's a, they sound like a fax machine on the trail. It's very annoying to those around you. All RC cars are annoying to those around you. If you're not <laughs> doing it, they're all fucking annoying around Even you. Even when you are, the revolver. <laughs> they're all annoying. Don't say that the, that some one thing is annoying. They're they, they're. <laughs> So I put the Hobby Wing Fusion in this. That's why I was saying I was I geared differently is because uh, it's the it's only eighteen hundred kV, which is it just and I honestly don't even know if it's that fast. I think it's slower than advertised because it's painfully slow. So, but it's an all in one. I love the I love the convenience of it. So that's why I'm using it. Because it's easy. I oftentimes revert to the easiest options. Only brave enough to say that when she's not in here. Okay. That screw feels too long. What? It's sweet, and it kind of tastes like an ashtray, but it's fine. <laughs> did you? Which one did you open? The boggle. 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 Boggle wine. Okay, that one feels. The boggle too. of wine. Let's see. Let's see how it is. Oh, that one's good. It's really sweet. I would like, I wish I had more of this. Um, do you grease the transmission gears to the same stuff you use in the diff? Yep, I do. Huh, <laughs> that dumb guy. What the? Look, that dumb guy. <laughs> Have you had any problems with the Hobby Wing Fusion? No, um, I just don't, it's not my favorite. I'm using it for ease. That's why I'm using it. Otherwise, it's not a system that I really, really enjoy. But sometimes. This is Barry G. Hey, we're out of. Uh -oh. 
We emptied the other supply. Yeah, we need another box of wine. <laughs> Which, ironically, is not uncommon here. Just depends on... <laughs> Let's see. Flatheads. I mix... I'm doing a VS4 time with SA Extend 2 axles and trans. Do you have any recommendations for upgrades? So many. I mean, with that, it's just... You're just talking about uh, SCX-102 upgrades and uh, as far as the axles go. So knuckles, always a, a good one. And then make sure whatever you have, if you have factory dog bones, make sure you change those right away, like before you drive it, because it will save your axle housing um, to have universals in there. So either put in like some incision universals or just do uh, axials, but don't do anything different other than those two options. Adam, I will pay for shipping if you send me some mead. Mead? Yes. Oh my god, we just had. This we did. Why did we talk about mead the other day? I really hear you say it, and we thought that was cool. We did talk about. Mead. Is a castle sensor key? It's, uh, is a castle sensor wire keyed to go in only one way? I'm trying to install it after everything is in place. Another duh moment. Yes, it is. It, well, you can force it the wrong way. Funky Trucks needs to get a case of hardware like that. Nobody needs a case of hardware like that. Everybody needs hardware. This is organized by size. 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. But in each one, like in... So are each, they all... All what? Flatheads or... So that's the thing. I have it mixed with buttonhead, flathead, sock, uh, cap head in each one, which is less ideal. I really... Like if I was going to be fancy, I would have three different ones, but that seems extra, which, you know, I'm just I'm trying to be the, I'm just, just trying to be the, anything. I'm just trying to be some regular guy playing with my RC <laughs> oh my God. in my dedicated RC room with lights on the wall. Really hot ones. <laughs> Oh, Travis really wants to play with his trucks, but he doesn't have any dexterity yet. Urgh. He will. It'll come. What? Wait, what? Is he? He had surgery. The carpal tunnel stuff? Yeah, he had something. Oof. Guy in a Moose RC Adventure just printed a sweet little parts tray. Um, Amy's visiting wineries out here for work to pick up a few bottles to taste with coworkers for research. Research. I love it. I'll allow it. <laughs> My shit is spread out amongst nine different Rubbermaid containers dating back to 2008. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, <laughs> Josh, what is the plug on the white and black wired lights from the 1-9 Wraith ESC called? Um, I think that they are called some, it's some sort of JST, but uh, I don't know exactly. It's not like the standard JST. There's so many different JSTs, but um, I think that's what it's called. I just don't know. Like finding actual lights to plug into that that aren't specific is difficult. You have to know exactly the voltage that the ESC. You should put with LED lights in here. Uh, these are LED. Why are they so hot? Because there's a lot of them. Well, I mean, I've if, got if, one, two, if, if three. This much lighting, I would not do this. Yeah. She comes in here to check the lighting. She's like, oh. like if there were not this much lighting, I would like, never, oh, my I, face is a disaster. Would never do this. Not like I don't actually look like this. Yeah. <laughs> it's the lighting. Let me tell you. <laughs> That's how it makes me look so young. I know. You are. You look young. Or I mean, you. The reason you look young is because you don't have children. That's how ages people. That and the no humidity. Doesn't that hurt? You're always complaining, not always complaining about that. You've about brought that up several times. About what? The no, dry? Yeah. yeah. Because it makes you have wrinkles. That's why everyone in California gets Botox. Because it fucking makes you have wrinkles. It's awful. I'm just going to have laser. Cool. Um, how would I get a hold of you to send you some? Uh, you can shoot me an email through my website or Instagram or whatever. I, I respond to Instagram messages and all that kind of stuff as much as possible. Does Nicole demand one of those ring lights that all the beauty gurus use? She does not. She, she has never. She's never requested anything for the studio. No, I 
don't look at. So I'm just putting a couple of it's not like screws it's in here. I don't do, do social media. When was have you ever take? When was the last time you took a selfie? Probably was never. it on a flip phone? Probably never. Probably never. Yeah. I feel like that's weird. Greetings from Indonesia. How late hey. are you? Eight, you're no, you're right in the right in the thick yeah. of it. Into the thick of it. User only. Thank you, Iceman RC. He's my new favorite. Sorry, my J. You're being kicked out of my <laughs> favorite spot. Your opinion on best crawling tire in 1.9, 4.75. BFG crawler for style. If you want absolute performance, then high, <laughs> then high racks. Stop. Why did I do this? I direct wired this thing and I can't route it in any sort of logical fashion. I'm an idiot. So the chief will eat you before you know. They'll eat me before I. Chief is obsessed with fetch. Jessica's two car garage just got out of work. It's late. Um, Chief is obsessed from the the favorite spot. Spot on about the kids aging, you know. Son of a bitch. Bachelorette party a few weeks ago. Hey. You, is that where, oh, that was where you were at. I was. Did you just randomly say bachelorette party a few weeks ago? No. Somebody's been checker pass said that. They told me six weeks minimum before I'm even allowed to open a heavy door. I'm hoping it doesn't take that long. Oh. Dang. Speedy recovery. Asking, he's a loaded question. He's asking about it. It was great. It was amazing. It was wonderful. Charleston is fabulous. Isle of Palms is beautiful. What was the Isle of Palms? It was the beach that we were, or how the house we got was at. It you got was, the beach? Yeah, the beach house. It was fantastic. I didn't really talk to you very much. I talked to, you were gone four days. I think we talked two times. Six days. Really? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> were you really gone six days? Yeah. Yeah, I was gone six days. It's just, uh, I do remember at the end of the I Okay, I was 10 years older than anybody else at this bachelorette party, and they were all, like, I don't take my phone out of my bag. Like, I have my bag on, and I don't take my phone out, and they're, like, constantly, like, taking their phone out, so, and, but Josh knows that, so he, it's fine if we don't talk for a day or two, because he knows that I don't have my phone out, and he can call. If I really need to get a hold of her, I'll FaceTime her iPad. Yeah, because, yeah. At night, she knows where her iPad is. Yeah. Her phone is a crapshoot. Mm -mm. no. So many selfies. They did so many selfies. It was... What do pale girls do in the sun? Uh, we... Are you calling her pale? <laughs> Not fine. <laughs> Lots of sunscreen. That, and here's my PSA. That one of my very best friends almost died of skin cancer that metastasized into his lungs and brain and everywhere else. So wear your sunscreen. Even though you don't think you don't need it, wear your sunscreen. Please, please, please give me a favor. Wear your sunscreen. I mean, it's a good idea. But... Nicole must have washed all your underwear before she left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Socks, underwear. And I put on lots of sunscreen. I do it multiple times because it only lasts for 70 to 90 minutes. So put it on, let it dry, then get in the water. But seriously, where are those two? I'm sure they're sleeping. They were being psychos beforehand. They were. If they see me get ready. And then they freak out. They think she's leaving. I'm sure. Like, I know. Oh, my God. I never leave, but. Yeah. And you wonder why they freak out when you RC at all. No. I've literally never touched one of them. You drove an RC across the bench once. That's the only time. Mm -hmm. I support my husband's hobby, but I want nothing to do with it. Oh, uh, Mike Philpot said that happened to his cousin. Yeah, we were what how old were we when that happened? Twenty Oh with seven? With Tim? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And as a cappuccino skinned Indonesian, she is pale. <laughs> wow, I like that. Yeah. That's an elegant way of putting things. It's beautiful. Okay, so we got, I put the uh, servo in. This servo was in the gatekeeper. It was, it's a direct power one. So it was like wired directly to the XT60 plug. 
which was why I was cussing myself. So I just left that in there. It's a Power Hobby 14 volt 8014 MG. How many cells do you run? Three cell. This system will only run three cell. Otherwise, I would run four cell because I do like four cell. Moose Jaw officially dislikes Spaz Tech paint. Ah, man. Last time I used Spaz Tech. <laughs> I spin RC says, I've been trying to get my wife into the hobby, but she just gives me her bullshit eyes and calls me a child. <laughs> Your wife and I would be friends. Just <laughs> say it. Um, I, yeah, we don't we have a blast at events. She goes to all the events. All the events. Um, but I go bullshit and talk and I go climb on, I really like to climb rocks. So I go, they'll be like, hey, your wife's over there climbing on rocks. He's like, yeah, that's what she does. She's in her thirties and likes to climb rocks. <laughs> this, one's, this one's tall. Look at this. I just do. I like to. She likes to climb them, but not anywhere near an edge. No. <laughs> she just walked by and said, I like her. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to close this and we're going to work on axle upgrades. And by axle upgrades, I mean new axles. Tina Louise says, I need to, <laughs> what sunscreen do you use? I can't find any to work for my daughter. For a young kid, use Bullfrog. That stuff is legit. It's like clear and like oh you probably your parents probably just made you wear a t-shirt i don't think i put sunscreen on until i was in my 20s i have burned to the point of being purple before and like i remember my dad and i were fishing in the florida keys once and we fished for like nine straight hours on the water out on the boat and we didn't use a drop of sunscreen it like didn't it wasn't even a thought to either of us which Obviously, my upbringing to that point had dictated that same pattern. What? Two packs a day? No sunscreen? Crazy. And I remember us driving home from like Isles Marotta up to Fort Lauderdale. And we were on fire so bad. We had stopped at a Rite Aid, which was like the first time I'd ever seen a Rite Aid. That's why I remember right. it. Like Rite Aid? What is it? Rite Aid. And we got the, uh, it's like back team spray, but it's for sunburns. It's back team. Yeah. Is it for sun? Anyway, I just remember us driving home in this rental car like spraying each other it's like, it's like all right now mine do mine and we're oh he's like he's like why do you have aloe in the refrigerator i was like that's something that i need <laughs> like <laughs> yeah so i just See, i remember Jesse Schultz has tattoos you also have to cover your ink so it doesn't get faded i remember that trip there was like so many things i remember I, we stopped like left at the butt crack of dawn to drive down there to get fishing and we stopped at a like little hut on the way to have breakfast. And I remember I ordered apple juice. And it was the first time I had like, like real or fresh apple juice. But it was like an apple put into a blender. I was like, why is this a slushy? Ooh, like a, a room temperature slushy. Oh. It was weird. Uh, I got my pops on my feet burnt at the American River a couple weeks ago. That is the worst. Yeah. I've, I've, uh, I have That's to help them. I know it sounds crazy. It's wear sunscreen. You know when things say anti-aging as well. That's it's just sunscreen. Like, well, it can have other things like retinol or you know different vitamin C or whatever. But also, it can like if it says anti-aging, it can just have something and be called anti-aging. Hmm. Unibody Wheelers finally here. Thank you so much. This was amazing and my new favorite. You drank applesauce, Josh. <laughs> 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 Why did I know that was Jesse? Like I knew immediately that was Jesse. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that, honestly, that's damn. <laughs> Ultimate RC Adventures got a sunburn from welding. Oh, I've been I've had a sunburn on my eyeballs from welding as well. Who are you? It's called it's called flash burn, and it's awful. Do you get a croc sunburn on your feet? I have never had that. I've never worn crocs outside long enough to have a sunburn on them. I mean warm apple slushy applesauce. My shirts are old at the time, worn out, got sunburn on my unit. My wife calls it sunny to this day. What? Wait, what did he say? My shorts were what? Old and worn out. Um 
Were you just not wearing pants? <laughs> That's not a thing. And there's no length. There's no type of short that should. Can't I can burn through it? If I was, wore this outside, I would get sunburn through it. White. Mm, I refuse to believe that. Okay. He just wasn't wearing pants, and he was outside for too long. Well, that's pretty cool. That's amazing. Okay, I forgot. I will just. I forgot us. bearings, and you weren't. I cut back my hours at work, so probably nobody is going to get notes. Sea fart fire truck gave us five dollars. Hey, <laughs> missed you guys. Congrats on over seventy miles per hour. Thank you, sir. Can we just talk about how we had the Fourth of July off? And um, how my husband literally sat at the computer for 16 hours to edit that video and was not done <laughs> yeah. by the end of the day. And so he had to, I guess that was on a Sunday. And then Monday you kept doing it? Or was that Monday? And then... I think it was Monday that I edited it all day. He did not get up from the computer chair. And I'm like, can we not do these videos that take like 48 hours to edit? The problem was is that I had like five friends with well, I had Moose Jaw, Bobby, Gunner, myself, well, and then like a cup, and then a couple. Problem, no, no, it was yeah. great. But I had a couple, and then I had two other like stationary cameras. So I had like five angles of everything to edit, and it was a daunting task. You're grateful that you have friends who will go out with you. And oh, I am that because, like that. yeah. Like, you guys really want to come hang out with me? I'm just <laughs> going to try and drive this stupid truck fast up and down the street. Like, like we are literally big kids. Like, why, why do you say, you say it like we were literally like, yeah. Duh. Like, that's all. It's kind of fun because Moose Shaw works at the hobby shop after he's done being an actual adult teaching our youth. Uh, I don't actually know what Gunner does for a living. Sells amazing jerky. Um, he sells him. He, I mean, he sells beef jerky, too. but he does. He has like an actual job as well, uh, or used to theoretically. And then my friend Bobby makes speaker boxes, yeah, so subwoofer boxes for. Um, it's a hobby wing fusion reversible for MOA use. Uh, I'm I'm sure it's reversible. Yes, yes. It's got an app you can do a lot of the control through. Or you can plug it into the programming box, which I've got over there as well. So I'm building the uh, ring and pin, or the, well, the ring gear set up with the spool. Adam says, I'd be there in a heartbeat. <laughs> Is it orange or brown that's the signal wire on the Copperhead ESC? Mike J's having a hell of a time. It is the brown one, Mike J. No, that is ground. Okay, read the instructions. I think it's the other one. Oh, Bigfoot's not getting paid to watch. Huge kid at heart. Keeps me younger looking than my former classmates who are not aging well. Isn't that such... Man, I've got some friends isn't who... Just, isn't it like the most satisfying thing, though? What is wrong with you? You are not a petty person. Not, but like, you see them and you're like, mm, shouldn't have had kids so young. <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> I mean, there was a couple of kids in my class that were absolute asshats. Yeah, Did and not... you're like, ooh. <laughs> I was. Says, yes, very satisfying. Oh. Thank you. I'm not, that I'm not endorsing this. I feel like everyone here is good because they all play with RC cars, so they're all kids at heart, so they're all, are not, you know, they're all aging well. If you, if you don't have fun in your life, then you're going to. If all, I will say, if all you, if all you want to do ever is sit and watch sports and not like have hobbies, like those are my friends who do. Yeah. My one friend who you know, but don't know, don't know if you've ever actually met. They were probably at our wedding, but yeah. Uh Oh, that, that's true. Yes. You guys have friends? Not really. <laughs> not in real life, just on the computer. <laughs> um. Josh, what is a good one nine tire you recommend? I love the BFG crawler. Today we're actually going to be using the. It's actually I shouldn't say yet because I don't know. I have to check my inventory. What we have? Is that a is that obnoxious yet? Yeah. When you see the public, it's twenty five years later, and you're like, "Damn, what happened to you?" Yeah. I mean, I wasn't unpopular. 
Do I guys had 15 kids in class? 39. Cool. 39. Oh, gosh. I, there was just like, there wasn't like an un... I don't know. Uh, Sean Burrell says, are you kidding? I would be out there with you guys putting on sunscreen and doing whatever <laughs> to help with... I did get and burned. I did get burned that day because I did because not I think here. I... And I didn't think I was going to be gone that long. And I hadn't seen Nicole in like six days, evidently. And I didn't remember. It was nice in my 23 you need to see the sport jocks wrinkled in 250 pounds. Is that petty? Like, no, but I'm damn close to, what am I? I'm 200. Well, I'm 205 now. I was down to like 190. Pregnant kids. It was Alex. <laughs> Yes, there was 39 kids in my graduating class from Fort Calhoun that's High School. Class, that's a classroom. We usually had two classrooms. Thank you. Thank you very little. Literally had to go get beef jerky after what you guys talk about. It's so good. <laughs> I live vicariously through Josh and Matt and my RCs sit behind me and weep. I was top 30 of my class, 28 of 30. And half, <laughs> half the girls were pregnant. We ne we didn't have it. Man, I don't remember anybody in my high school. But you're not 5'6", Josh. I'm not. <laughs> I don't remember anybody in my high school ever being pregnant. Like, I don't remember. Like, I don't think. I don't know that that happened. Oh, that high school. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. It's Catholic high school. That's amazing. I feel like we were in the area. That like, is true. Perry G says, that's a weird part about being indigenous. We look young until one day, bam, I'll wake up one day and look from Jamie. <laughs> oh, no. I got sunburn on brand new skin on my back. <sighs> oh, but I, none of that, like, I know that there's a story to all of that. None of it sounds not painful. Okay. Any tips on growing my YouTube channel? My 42 users. You got, it's just, you got to just do content, 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 like just constantly. And you will be making content for nobody for so long. And it's, su it's, it's so demoralizing for years. BT gave us $20. Thank you so much. BT. Our benefactor. <laughs> we'll Mr. Havisham. Are we going to have a nuclear reactor discussion? What are, we, what are we talking about? What about Wolf Creek in Burlington, Kansas? Another small one. Actually, can we talk about my cousin who's getting married, who's bachelorette party? Her husband is a nuclear engineer. Maybe and works on nuclear things. And I don't know how it works. Ah, works on nuclear things. Like, it's so crazy to hear some of the shit that, like, he has to do for the Navy. I, like, the they can't have any, I mean, like, you can't have any kind of Bluetooth or phone or anything. And he was talking about, like, steam reactors. And I'm just like. I, my favorite part of that is just imagining someone talking to you about nuclear reactors and just imagining the gloss on your eyes. Just the, uh-huh. Like, going into hairdresser mode and just doing the, uh-huh. <laughs> So how was your weekend? <laughs> that was always, that was always it. So like, how was your weekend? And then I would say it like three times and be like, did I ask you? You told me that. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> um, Can I bring my Ripper to Axel Fest? Matt would like to, can you leave Canada? Can you? Are you telling him to leave? No, can he leave Canada? Oh, he Is cannot. He... he cannot come. Oh. But it, only because it was in the rules, not because he's not allowed. What? It was just in the rules. Matt can't come. <laughs> I had them at it. All a nuclear reactor is a glorified steam engine. See? I picked something up that he knew that I... Yeah, I told you he was talking about steam. That's something. why there's always a massive body of water next to it for cooling as well. Yes, it is. Did you know that they have an... An open base there in Charleston. Okay. Except for where he works, obviously. None of the nuclear stuff is. But you can just drive through. There's no, like, you know, like, when you go into a military base, sometimes if I don't know if you've ever been on a military base. Yep. But you have to, like, show your ID and say where yes. you're there and all of that. 
Like, you can just drive into it. I'd go to Offutt Air Force Base because my grandpa was in the Air oh, Force. Yeah, and we'd go to the BX. Well, my cousin married a military guy, so we used to go to Fort Worth and go to the military base. So Yeah, yeah we'd go to the BX and... Uh, my grandpa worked at Offit and also SAC or uh, yeah, well, Str Strategic Air Command, which is kind of like in the Omaha Lincoln vicinity, which was super cool. We obviously couldn't go see anything at SAC though. Like we went to the museum there, but beyond that, I don't think really you get to go see anything. The mini line would like to know. I just looked at my Red Cat Everest Gen Seven Pro after you recommended the BFG crawler and realized I already have that tire on my truck. There you go. There you go. Upgrade the foams if you're thinking about changing tire. Just go to a good crawler innovation, Little Nova, dual stage foam. Get like a medium for the front and a soft for the rear. And it will change the way that tire works completely. It'll change your life. Change your life. Can we see Blinky there? What? Can we see Blinky? <laughs> Did you say a Blinken? No, <laughs> said hey Blinken. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing up there? Guessing. I guess there's nobody coming. Roddy Yates has built scaffolding in several different nuclear power plants. You ever been to Fort Calhoun power plant? <laughs> <laughs> Near Blair, Nebraska? It's the world it's the smallest nuclear reactor or nuclear power plant in the United States. Three eyed fish from the Simpsons. <laughs> um, I worked in an extremely high security base here in Canada. Mike, you know the one he's in Canada, he's upset that he won't give military discounts to Canadian military. <laughs> have you decided what to put the toy and engine in? I have not. I have not given it much thought actually since we completed it. Where is it? <laughs> to rob oh, it's around men in tights. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh okay, when and since I said like I said I was ten years older than everyone. And we, they were going through some YouTube or something, and they were like, oh, my God, I was born that year in Robin Hood Men in Tights. So I was like, oh, my God, I remember when that came out. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Juan Rico says, do you guys even still make axles? Never in stock. I've been refreshing for months. Yeah, they just sell super freaking fast. I've, I've had, these were, these have been around for a little while, but. Oh. DK says the base here in Charleston is open because even the locals will shoot the shit out of you if you have to go. <laughs> Apparently they have really great trails there. So. Um, Josh, you, you what the stock BEC voltage on Mamba X? Uh, I think out of the box it's 5.5 volts, but through the Castle Link you can change it to up to 8. Maybe something like that. I think you can go up to eight volts, which I always do. Crank the voltage. Even if it's not a high volt servo, it'll take 8.4. It's fine. Send it. The Bigfoot hits the right path for the Air Force Museum every year. What? I don't know. I don't know what that means. I hit right. I don't know. I don't know it. Is that a rock jock, Josh? It, yes. I would have given y'all the local tour if I could have caught y'all around. Well, my cousin lives in Goose Creek, so that she's a local. Goose Creek? She said on Facebook that there, it's always constantly like, gunshot, goose, gunshots, Goose Creek? Goose Creek? Gunshots? Gunshots, Goose Creek? <laughs> like, it doesn't matter. It's everywhere. Everyone thinks there's gunshots going off all yeah. the time. God. It's always in the places that don't have gunshots that people are asking if there's gunshots. Right, like here and where we are, like there's obviously no gunshots happening. Yeah. Like, did someone just hear something? Is that a gunshot? Like, promise you it's not. <laughs> but, if we personally send you money, can you send us axles? <laughs> no. If you send them like three times what? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Goose Creek is not local. And during the holidays, we play fireworks or firearms, trying to guess which one. It's in right outside Charleston. <laughs> you know if these will be back in stock. Method 1-9, race wheels, 105 gray, black, anodized, is BT. 
Uh, yeah, the 105s are like our huge focus right now. And we've been, yeah, so definitely, yes. Can you write that down? Yeah. Um, Can you remember that? Method 1-9 race was 105. Oh, I, oh like trust method. me. 109 or 105s are like the There's one. one three. Yep. Because we also just did uh, the gold, which is what I have in the box behind me. There's some kid driving around town with a turbo timer that sounds like a machine gun on his car. Oh, he must have a, a two-step programmed. Here are the, the, there are gunshots. Rule, baby. <laughs> well, yeah, like that's like I'm saying. Like, they must send Nicole money for scalp to be. <laughs> Tell me. Like, I guess I would need a part number or something to go in there and look. You can get my inventory. Tell you what box. Stay out of my inventory. I was talking about going to Vanquish, but I'll pilfer off of here if that's what it takes. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> Let's see. I did like um, block carrier. So show us the gold. Um, Bigfoot says I just picked up a larger forge over the past month. I may get caught up enough for y'all's requests. Did you hear that? He's our knife maker friend. Oh, what? Yeah, he's a. I thought he was talking about the new uh, the new propane powered smelting operation that I'm. Yeah, I hate you so hard. It. You know that it's going to be cool. Three hundred dollars on my Amazon account is not cool. Your Amazon account? Uh, like being able to melt your own metal. You don't need to do that. You don't need to do that. This is some shit town stuff. Like you're gonna go bananas. I'm not melting and mercury. Start drinking an arsenic or that something. We, she's referring to a podcast that we both Everybody knows. No one knows shit town. Like that was the, it was called S town podcast. And it was like my favorite podcast in the world. I listened to it 10 times, but Josh. it, Josh, <laughs> Josh. <laughs> but he like, goes he was, yeah, because he night or something. Yeah. He was smelt. He was firing mercury, which is what, Oh, come on, Brian. You got to be, you got to make it harder than that because Christmas vacation is something we watch always. Here is Josh's nerd quiz. I pulled up to an RV dump station, got out, looked at the guy next to us and said, yep, shitter's full. What movie, Josh? Come on. Uh, yeah, come on. That's come a, on. That's a t-shirt, man. That's we hit too up. easy. Locally from all the new transplants. I heard gunshots. Did anyone else hear it? I called the sheriff. Yes, Karen. We all heard them. Someone is shooting on their acreage. <laughs> yep. That sounds bananas. B a n a n a s. B a n a n a s. That's how I know how to spell bananas. You know that I lost uh, spelling B one time. Well, like I mean, I was obviously in the bottom. Why was I was almost in a spelling B once, which is ridiculous. What? Um, what? And then Josh smelts the silverware and the scale accessory. My good crate and barrel silverware that, that we obviously got for our wedding because we would never actually buy anything at crate and barrel ourselves. We got for our wedding. My mom bought it for That's us. That's what I said, right? Um, forging is awesome. You get materials and you you need, and since you are making Damascus or you buy Damascus and pay fifty times the cost, we love. Oh, we love forged fire. She she is not into my idea of my me making Damascus anything with that. How many layers of brass would it take for me to make you some <laughs> brass? brass? This is all brass. 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 Is brass. brass is brass. Brass lead. Brass lead. That's not how that works. <laughs> That's not how Damascus works. I'm just saying, my. It's going to make you a flavor flav necklace. God. I'm taking the TRX 4000 to a new level. You will heard a sonic boom yesterday in SoCal. Really? Why? Well, something was going fast. Yeah, uh, Richard Branson's going to the edge of space this weekend. Yeah, it's trying to beat Elon. He's not. He's he promises mm. it's just if he's trying to whatever. But he promises he's not trying to beat. Okay, he's just going three days before him for the billionaire yeah, race. Camino says I always lose at English spelling B because sarcasm is my first language. <laughs> I was in the sixth grade and I was almost in the spelling bee, but I didn't know how to spell tabernacle, um, which is Jesse, a bullshit so word for a sixth grade. 
Terry out of Nevada, no worries. Ah, well, that still sounds cool. Must be that newfangled drag slash. <laughs> Alex says, I kind of enjoy visiting my grandma. Did you hear gunshot? Connie must have seen another coyote. <laughs> when is Vanquish going to have another batch of rock jacks? Damascus curries would be awesome. And also very difficult. But yes, I would agree. Damascus anything's awesome. Yeah. And yeah. there goes Josh's hat moving on up. Are you getting stressed? No. Just making progress. You need to make brass headlight bezels for the Bronco just as a flex on people. Agreed. Branson wasn't planning to fly until Bezos announced he was. There's zero percent chance that this isn't about being first. Obviously. This guy knows. Who said that? MX thirty three oh four. I would I knew it was gonna be MX thirty three oh four. It's actually MX three oh four. I just <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I was working as an emergency sweep crew for a Rally America event that was halted because country yokels were taking shots at rally cars. Sheriff was called. Was that Hundred Acre Woods event? Met and chatted with Travis. Oh, no. Che uh, checkered Pass. So I was overseas. He's in Checkered Pass. I think yeah, he's overseas. He's not. He's isn't here. he? He's the one who has all the fucking cool stories about LA and stuff. I don't like, know. We route. we yeah. talk on uh, Instagram every once in a while, but and I thought like, it was overseas. Oh, no, no. I'm thinking of SC Domestics. Sorry. Now, Checker Pass, I remember. You send me the other stuff. Brass windshield wipers. Are you using the stock gearing in the axles? Nope. We put underdrive gears in the back and standard in the front. I do have a set of overdrive here, but I just realized... Pro Ultra Mega. When's the new rig coming? Come on. <laughs> was Mega's like, good. Mega. You did have it said Omega. What does Omega really mean, though? I don't... I mean, I know it's like Latin. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Greek? He's Oregon. No, yeah, what? That's a good story. Oh, checkered past, Oregon. Yeah. We get, uh, for some reason, or checkered past and a guy named SC Domestics. I get them confused a little bit, but it's kind of because they're, uh, they're like little, small little avatar pictures are very similar. And then I associate people with that. Yes. Don Clark says Damascus Curries could have their own serial number and Josh could be in charge of the registration Facebook page. You guys are killing me. Yes. Have I told you how I've wanted, I'm wanting to shave my head and Nicole is against it? I have not said one word. It was the Oregon Trail Rally. You said no specifically. I did not. It's Greek. Sorry. Alpha Greek. Omega. It's Alpha Greek. Alpha Omega. Okay. Yeah. Beta. Delta. Chow. No. <laughs> yes, Ford had monster truck release coming soon. Theta, theta, theta. Have Vanquish ever thought about making rock jocks for the 10-3, but not portal and offset front diff? It sounds like a request. That's a, that's a lot. There's lots and lots of things, but, and then people are always complaining, like, why don't you make this axe? Like, we're trying. We're making a lot of them. Kappa. Kappa, Kappa, Kappa. Kappa is the Greek. Oh, yeah, Greek, duh. Like, like the, yeah, like, sororities and fraternities, exactly. right? Like, either one of us were in sorority or fraternity. I was in a few sororities. <laughs> I was in a few fraternities. <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, your stuff work for the axial Yeti parts are getting harder to find. They use the AR60 in the rear. Yep. The, they are getting harder to find because they're kind of, you know, as they get older, they the the uh, demand lessens, and then we have to schedule yeah, things. To, the demand lessens as they get older. <laughs> <laughs> it all works the same. They just, you know, you gotta you gotta focus on the things that are a little a little fresher. We trade them in every once in a while. Do you know if Axial's going to come out with a new rig soon? Um, even if I did, if they are, if they were, I couldn't say, obviously. I would have to find out about it not through Axial to be able to say anything. Oh, just curious. This is a good question, actually. Jake S says, just curious, but why not expand to increase production? Because machines, like when we put a machine on the floor, it'll cost you between... 
it depended on the size of the machine, obviously, but it can cost you anywhere from half a million to a million dollars. That was just for the machine, not for the space or the electricity or the pro or the. And then we, you also have to look at the size of our facility and how much we can fit into it. So then it's, you either have to move an entire facility, add more buildings, which right now we're in three different buildings to try not large buildings, but because the location that it started in was a few thousand square feet. Then we got the one next to it and we got the one next to that. Then we got the one across the parking lot. And it's a matter of, okay, you can only add this much and you can only do this. And you, we only have these people to manage and we've looked for more people and they're hard to find. So you have to justify adding a million plus dollars in expenses to be able to take on a new machine. And then all of the other headaches that come with that, whether it be power. Machines never work all the time. And every one of them is that, you know, you put a new machine on the floor and it's months of fixturing and tooling and Ugh. programming to get them up and going. And we're a small company. There's only, you know, there's kind of four of us who run it. Granted, we have employees that run machines, things like that, and help package and ship. But there's kind of four of us that help run the business. And it's, we're also in the toy car market, which if we were... If we wanted to make money, we would be in a different market, like medical, medical or other machining. But we all enjoy going to work every day. And if we want to continue working in this field that we all really enjoy going to work every day, we have to make decisions that, you know, we buy these machines to make much less money than someone else who would regularly be buying one of these machines. So there's your long story. Uh, I could I could literally talk about yeah. that for an I, for two hours about yeah. why you can't just keep adding machines in our industry. You have to understand, like, name another manufacturer that's like Vanquish in the United States. Like, there's not, and that's for a reason. Like, because Neil Rhodes, the second of mate, y'all should move down here with Elon. You should get more workers in Texas. And uh, I mean, that's another thing, like the cost of doing business in California. Let me tell you, like talking about moving isn't a, isn't out of the question, but you want to talk about costs, try moving a machine shop like that. <sighs> I'm still now something was supposed to drop at Badlands, but didn't something about delays and it wasn't ready. Yes. And yes, that vehicle. Selling prices tripled last year. Yeah. And aluminum, same thing. Not toyed with building parts for full size Jeeps. Nope. There's a lot there's a lot of liabilities that go with certain areas. And like I said, we we just if you try and get into a bunch of different in ever areas, you're only gonna just continue to not have enough parts in all of them. So trying to just focus on what people want now is like our our biggest thing. Like, yeah, if, if it was super easy to add another machine, we'd add another machine. Which we've added several <laughs> in the last year, which is not normal, but we did everything we could to add what we could. Granted, we had to take some out to fit new ones in. We but do medical machining and RC. Because again, you just, it's your production. <laughs> and to do medical work, like the amount of labor it takes to do the QC and the, the inspection is a whole different thing. Like, Vanquish did medical before they were Vanquish. So if you, you know, and it's one of the, it's a whole, one. like I said, you could in two yeah. hours, it would be a two hour discussion on why you can't just do, so why can't you just do like sure. that one? It is. Yeah. Anytime you change your focus, it dilutes time and resources from everything else. Yeah. Let me tell you, this is my, that's my job every day is this discussion we're having. <laughs> because hey i love my job is the honcho worth grabbing i've had got or had almost every 10 2 and 10 3 but that one and love the look of the honcho just hate it's so basic i totally understand i have a, a couple for a series um coming up and it is very basic um i had a fonder memory of it than i then I actually remembered when I got it again, like recently, I was just like, man, I'm, this thing's pretty basic. <laughs> it, it just didn't age super well after my time away from it. 
Oh, look, RC Dream says I used to sell Swiss tooling for Mainly Citizen. There you go. That's what I do now every Can day. you come work? I, <laughs> after my, my Citizen uh, programmer left, now I have jumped in and now I uh, program and do Citizens. Quack RC gave us $5. Thank you. Hi. What's up, Beaming Quack RC? Face, smiling eyes. I think it's better doing what you do now. Yes, Vanquish is costly, but it's quality. I can't aff always afford the stuff, but it's worth it. Thumbs up. Thank Thanks, you, sir. Yeah. It's a it's a constant thing. Like, there's, you know. But like, look, RC Journey needs to come work for you. Do you want right. to I'm going to move to Sacramento. You want to program citizens? <laughs> He's like, yeah. Um, Alex says it's better to full ass one thing than half ass many things. Yeah. Sounds like something your dad would say. So yes, no, maybe on the honcho. So, I think that there's other even SCX ten twos that I would buy. If that makes any sense. Basic too. but awesome, says Quack. Yeah, then. it's just the bumper you know, it just it takes it needs some work. But it's still a, a decent rig, especially if you can get it for a deal. Why do I feel like this is chapstick every time? And it's not chapstick. Do not put it on. <laughs> that has been on my feet. <laughs> what did you? Or my say? ankles. <laughs> oh my god! That someone would suck on your sweaty, gross toes, and I said, "What did I tell you?" you said you can pay somebody. I said you can. Pay I had took. I had got my. I had got home and taken my shoes off and my socks and put my bare <laughs> feet up on. Ouch. I was, my computer desk is behind the couch and I like swung around in my chair and put my feet up on the, on the back of the couch, right? Like by her head. And she was just like, uh, Get your and I was just like, actually, my, and she was, and I said, you can pay someone for that because it <laughs> is gross and whoever does it deserves a lot of money and it's <laughs> and a tip. Yeah. Just the tip. <laughs> Scott Oblander says, everybody can afford at least one Vanquish item for the RC. Get the servo horn. Works great. It's one of the best. It um, is the Instagram. best. It's too complicated, but I'll still take the job. Oh, man. It is complicated. I'm, I'm, Do you I'm, know people? <laughs> I've got. Yeah. Send us your programmers that you sold to. Um, I'm getting the programming side, M making parts. You are, because you're so talented. You're so smart. No, I'm not. I wasn't joking. I know. I was being serious. Until it's amazing. You're amazing the things you can do. That's fun. Josh, why doesn't Vanquish put stickers with their products? Because everything's <laughs> expensive already and everything keeps adding up and we can only do so much. Okay, that's funny. Don't block him. Childish amino sides so suck him for rip two rippers. <laughs> oh, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> he said the word. No, no he's a two, I know. He said two rippers. <laughs> get a cattle prod for moving his feet. <laughs> I'll get you a. No! He did get. Notice how high the hat is at this point. <laughs> I just came out of early retirement to dispatch for a heavy rescue company. Bit of stress, but I like it. Heavy rescue? Wow. Paul oh, W. gave us $10. Thank you. And he said, he said thanks, guys. Huh. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. I got a Three Brothers G14 servo that started making a grinding sound and got weak. Any servicing I can do rather than send it in. That sounds like a send it in type deal. Unless you can just buy a gear set. Oh, BT says, have to hit the sack up early for work tomorrow. I have to make that money so I can continue to be our benefactor. Thank you, BT. We'll talk about nuclear reactors again soon. And seriously, else? Burlington, Kansas. Well, by that was a. I did I did a when I was in traffic engineering. I did a it was called a KTEP, Kansas Tra Traffic Engineering Assistance Program study there near a school, and I got food poisoning at a subway in town, and I spent the night puking my guts out. Did you have diarrhea too? No. You won't admit it. I didn't. I just. I didn't. You always have diarrhea first, and then. No, I it. just woke up in the middle of the night, and went, "Oh my god!" And then ran. Funny story. It was actually 
at the same, I had, Axial had sent me the AX10 RTR, which came with the buzzard body. And I, it was so odd because I got it right before I left. I drove down to, and it came with a locker in the box because it came with an open diff, which was wild. I really like when you talk to me, like I know what you're talking about. I know, exactly. <laughs> but it was like one of their, it was their first RTR AX10. And I took and swapped the locker into the axle of the AX10 in the hotel room and then got food poisoning from the subway, puked my guts out all night. But still woke up in the morning, got my goddamn work done because I'm a man. And we get sick. I would get up, just still, it was just, a, I just remember so many things. That's just things I'm recollecting. Recollect. <laughs> my recollection. <laughs> my recollection. Drunk. I meant to say from my recollection, but things I remembered from that trip. Of, what were you talking about? Oh, because BT said, we were talking about nuclear power plants and Wolf Creek power plant right next to Burlington, Kansas, oh, where the <laughs> Wow. Shut it. <laughs> Say roof. <laughs> Say roof. Thanks. <laughs> Come on. Recollecting. Recollecting. Recollect <laughs> 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 yeah. Recollecting. Scott Oblander gave us $5. Thank you. When I was four, we lived in Gridley, Kansas. We used to drive to the big town of Burlington to go to the DQ. Yeah, buddy. There's a Sonic there, too. Every k -teep we ever did, you always ended up eating at a Subway or a Sonic because the whole thing with that program was it was for cities that couldn't afford to hire traffic engineers by themselves. It's impossible to eat a tuna sub at Subway because the DNA test said there is zero tuna in it. His memory. <laughs> when did I, we get you to build stuff while Josh reads out comments? Never. Did we, you make a 410 kit that has all the hop-ups? Basically, that's kind of what a 410 is, but it, not quite. But, so no. <laughs> a 410 is you very... Uh, lunch? I had one... Had lunch? God. I didn't eat lunch, thank you. I had a big breakfast, though. So. I had a breakfast burrito. I have not eaten today. When do I do that? What? I don't get hungry till night. I don't eat till nighttime. I had a big breakfast. I normally eat either breakfast or lunch. Not normally both. Yeah, I just need to see dinner. You would think I would be skinny by now from that. <laughs> it's not. Not. Make a fortune premium with all the ooh premium. Are we gonna see a fortune gold? Gold. Like the idea, but not likely. Again, we gotta try and keep up with what we have. My kids joke that it isn't a real town unless it has a family dollar dollar general DQ in the Sonic. That's it's true. That you know what? It's not a real small town unless it has all of those. Yeah. Well, small <laughs> small towns usually start. Is it Sonic here? Sonic? Yeah, there's Sonic here. Where? I mean, I know there's one in Roseville. Where? By our old apartment. There was not a Sonic. There was by uh, by uh, the flame and fire. There's one right there. There was a Sonic right by our house in Kansas City, and so we had a lot of, we get a lot of Sonic. Kind of a lot of Sonic. Alex says he's never been to a Sonic. Really? Their chocolate banana shake. Oh. Go get yourself a Route 44 during happy hour. <laughs> get yourself a strawberry limeade. It's not a real small town unless your best restaurant's in a gas station. Everyone's going to get... <laughs> no, what was the chicken place? Remember the one up oh, in Leavenworth? There's a chicken place in the gas station. Mm. It wasn't a Go Chicken Go, though, huh? It wasn't Go Chicken Go. Go Chicken Go is not in a gas station. Mm -hmm. None of them are. It's not any better. It's delicious. We go to, There's a place in Kansas City called Go Chicken Go. And it's in the less savory parts of the city. But you can go it's get yourself place. you can go get yourself a box of box of gizzards and they're livers. delicious. I don't like livers. Like 
Christmas. I love gizzards, though. Gizzards, too, though. And a strawberry pop. That's what we used to drink. That's what we used to do. 7th and State. We used to go down there and get strawberry pop and livers and gizzards. I do love gizzards. Is that like a... Is that a country thing? Do people in cities eat gizzards? I've never heard of gizzards offered anywhere that has like a population over. I don't know. Do y'all eat gizzards? Have you guys ever eaten gizzards? Or is that just a foreign... Like, people don't even know what we're talking about. Gizzards are amazing. Oh, freaking gizzards are amazing. Strawberry pop is so Kansas. Gizzards is a thing. Church's chicken. No, Jesse. No, no, Jesse. Even though... Churches is not bad. Isn't I'm not the knocking Jesse. Someone who was feeding the his church yes. chicken. I thought that was Popeyes, but Churches chicken, two ducks, geese, geese. Either way, Jesse in our mod chat the other day, Je I had showed Nicole the photo of Jesse who was feeding chicken tenders to, ge to geese, <laughs> which I don't know if it is, but it feels wrong. Like, <laughs> like feeding poultry to poultry just just does not. KFC used to have them. KFC used to have gizzards. That seems like one of those ones. I'm sure, this gizzards will never touch any part of my body. <laughs> it's old people depression food. What really? I mean, I'm good. Livers, it. livers are better than gizzards. Uh, I, I like the I like the rubbery texture of gizzards. I have a Starbucks where I work. <laughs> I'd love to be part of this mod chat. You you get a strong stomach. Let me tell you. I'd like I don't to. I wouldn't show Nicole everything in the mod chat. There's some things that don't I, mean, I would like to be part of it, <laughs> but I don't have social media, so we can't <laughs> We'd have to print it out for you every day and be like, here's what we talked about. Spread these is we just started to get Popeyes here and the lineups are wild. Popeyes, it, I don't even know. I've never. Like, people I didn't even know Popeyes wasn't everywhere. Eat KFC. Like, what? KFC is delicious. It's all about gizzards, buck livers. How about brain and eggs? Brain and egg? What? Did somebody. That is old school. Brain is old school. Like tongue and brain. My, I mean, I've had tongue. My great grandpa was a butcher, and so they ate brain and tongue all the time because it, they were. Nobody, people didn't buy him. They owned a grocery store and he was a butcher and they ate brain, and tongue, and all that. I mean, I've had tongue, but yeah. Gizzards are okay, but still stick with chicken breasts. <laughs> but for some reason, Phoenix feels like low key classy to me. Right? Right? Like, right? He's fancier than us. No, like he doesn't come off that way, but he's like, he's low key fancy. He's too fancy. Like, he drinks white Russian. So does Moose Jaw. That's all Moose Jaw. But Moose Jaw feels kind of fancy, too. Yeah, no, he's totally fancy. That car he's, Cal he's California style. Yeah, totally. Moose Jaw's like humble, but California. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Loki? That's not what I meant by Loki. Not, not. Why is Moose Jaw, though? Not. Oh, I thought that was like the. Uh... Yeah, thank you. There you go. I'm sorry. That's terrible. What? When I look at property to buy, I use the chicken shop rule. Never buy near, near a church. It's always buy near a Chick Fil A. Wait, what? What did you say? When I look at a property, I used to use the chicken shop rule. I never buy near a churches. Always buy near because you know where you're at when you see a churches. There was a churches by our shop that went out of business in a not great neighborhood. Our, well, our neighbor. Our shop is Vanquish is not in a classy neighborhood. I'm like, I literally every day I'm like, oh, hey, Roseville Road. Like there was a fire shooting murder. Um, like, well, like, I'm like every day there is something north. I'm like, yeah, but it was down the street. Like we could hear the fire trucks. We couldn't see it happen. Like it was down the street. OK. I mean, axles are done. Right. Axles are done. And. We need to do links. Went to Ranch 99 Market by Fulton Lake the other day. Ace and Grocery Throws are a great base shop. I drive, used to drive by that Ranch 99. Vivian used to go there. It's uh, on off the dam. on And it is like the 
Like the place I used to live above, down in Moffs. Oh, no, that isn't, there's yeah, no that's way. That's exactly what it is. Okay. It is, I swear to God. Does it have any English on the... No. Oh, okay. It's, Vivian goes there. Okay. It's straight up, that's where she gets those candies for you. Oh, I do like those candies. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, I'm I'm intimidated to go into those places. You feel like they're just gonna yell at you? Just I feel like I need to know the language better than I do. I, I do when we we don't travel abroad, obviously, but we have once together to Italy. Abroad, abroad more than that. We went to Canada. Yeah, we've been to Costa Rica and Oh yeah. And we went to Canada. Ah oh, shit. I forgot. That's not really a Canada doesn't count. It was five dollars. Town near me is called Tyro and they have a Tyro testicles festival yeah rock mountain oyster festival in missouri they yeah i mean I'm, I'm not opposed to that like jiffy mcshill says i used to live at hillsdale and palm i know all about roseville road <laughs> hillsdale and palm. palm i take palm to work every day RC, that's, RC, that's a RC, lot of rc girl says oh there's that cool ass fire station though on that street oh there is says what are gizzards gizzards are like no Okay. Don't no. They're the thing in their stomach that like okay. when chickens eat rocks, it's so that they can use the rocks to break down their food, and that happens in the gizzard. I think. I don't know that, and that's something I was told you by told, my dad a long time ago. Told me that. Yeah. So I'd probably be like, chickens eating gravel. Our neighbors had chicken. Why are they eating the gravel on the side of the road? And I wonder if I'm right. That was just something I was told when I was little by my dad. Something correct you. Huh. Someone will correct you. I'm falutin. <laughs> Unfalutin? I'm falutin. I'm falutin. <laughs> I'm that high falutin. <laughs> Bigfoot says it's accurate. He is a forger. He knows. Okay. Yeah. I don't know how you associated him knowing that with forging, but I'll take it. Why, Teacher, why does Jake? Ready. Why does Josh hate Canada? No, we're saying that it doesn't count as international because it's abroad. Just, it's just like us. You, know, you said abroad, right? It doesn't count as abroad because it's still North America. Does that when? really? Wife says you are accurate. Gravel more than rocks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Tiny rocks equals gravel. Now I gotta go get gas station testers. So there was a gas station chain in Omaha called Cubbies, and that's where I first had gizzards. So I always thought that gas state that gizzards were just gas station food. I mean, I mean they kind of are. A muscular, thick-walled part of the bird's stomach for grinding food, typically with grit, like gravel. That's good. I just never call the bird <laughs> I just never. If my dad told me it, I just never questioned it. I'm like no, nope, okay. Now, and now, now as I get older, sometimes I need to think about that. But I just always took that as fact. But evidently, it was. I'm not saying that there's been many times that I remember my dad being wrong, but. Oh, Canada. And he doesn't give us discounts. Let's not forget that, Josh. <laughs> I love Canada. I'm just saying that it's basically U.S. I not had blood pudding. I know what blood pudding is, but have not had it. Never. No, nope, I don't know. I'm not unfamiliar with the term. I'd love to find gizzards on the roller dog station. Yeah, that's basically what they were to us. Like, it's just It was just gas station food. No. They were great. We'd eat them before we went to horse shows. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> My childhood, Sell people. It. We'd be like... Selling it. We're going to... We would go to Cubby's on we're the way. We're going to go rodeo and eat some gas station gizzards on the way. It was... Honestly... It. it was... Shh. It was... It was right there. It was breakfast food. For... Like, because we would stop there on the way. Gross. And we, it wasn't rodeo. College is, Canada is the dollar general of America. $5 American dollars, <laughs> $10 Canadian dollars. <laughs> it's like Dave and Buster's. You just cash in for fake money when you go there. I still <laughs> you, Canadian dollars in my wallet. You play around. I have a Costa Rican uh, bill in my wallet from our honeymoon. We have no Italian money. Did we even switch out money in Italian? I don't think we did. We used a... Like, Debit card. Italian. Did I say Italian? Italian money. Italy. Fuck. Got that Italian money. <laughs> I remember going to a McDonald's to try and get Wi-Fi by the by the Vatican. We did do that. I don't remember why. I think we were getting an Uber. No, we walked back. I think we were just getting food. I don't think we ate there. No, because we went and got that pizza. Mm. Right by the roundabout. Remember it? That roundabout was huge. 
that you had to like close your eyes and just run across because no one actually stopped or I don't remember it. that at all. Yeah. I just remember how big the roundabout was. Yeah, I, it was I, amazing. I, it was I amazing. Cross it, and I was like, "Let's go!" Like, I think it was a traffic circle, actually. You're an idiot. <laughs> Shut your fucking face. <laughs> Pretty sure it was a traffic circle. <laughs> But yeah, I remember we ate lunch at like a little place right there and we had Italian pizza and it was delicious. But we were both exhausted because our time was so messed up. Mush just is damn okay. I'm getting really hungry. Will you grab me another wine? Yeah. This is way too wet. To yeah, where are the cats? He's eating? Okay. What's the difference between a roundabout and a traffic circle? Good thing you asked, Mike. So a roundabout... The people in the circle have the right of way. Whereas a traffic circle, there is specific paths that have the right of way. They don't have to stop. So there could be like a through street that kind of has to just come and do a little and then through. But if you're a car like coming from a side street, you have to stop and wait for traffic, then come in, wait for this traffic, then you can merge. There's a difference. Sale barns have really, really good food. Ryan Davis, I grew up in the Omaha stockyards, so sale barns were a big part of my life. When we were young, we had a tack shop in the stockyards in uh, Omaha. The tack shop is what where you go to buy horse accessories. <laughs> Bridles, bits, rattles. No one relates to your shit, but like five people. <laughs> some people need some people know what horse things are. I know, like five people relate to your... We owned a tack shop. That's not very pollutant. I think it is. Uh, I just want you to braid my hair like she braided uh, My mom used to make her own lead ropes. Yeah. So. <laughs> I, I drive a semi. I have the right of way no matter traffic circle or roundabout. Matt Connolly, I, the inertia law stands no matter where. What's wrong with us, Nicole? <laughs> Ew. I don't know. Someone said that. Josh, you need to have a live stream of traffic talk. Nothing but wonderful. Why would anyone... I can only... No one listened when I wanted to come in here and draw I, RC items for 3D printing. I can only imagine how nobody would watch me talk about traffic. Oh, let's not put your paw in grease. What's up, buddy? What's up, boy? Oh, God, he's so graceful. No, he's, not. he's majestic, really. I'm so sweet, though. Chief is about the sweetest cat. Sweetest little baby. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Bubba? Really. Good boy. Please continue what you were saying about airport runways during Wednesday's live stream. So at the end of each runway, there'll be a big number. It's a two digit number generally. It'd be like one eight uh, or zero nine. Oh, we need Suki. And, and the, uh, those numbers correspond to the compass basically. So if it says one eight, the other one will say three six. So one eight is 180 to north. 3-6 three, six, three, six is 360, or actually north. So that's on a north-south runway. If it says like 0-9, that's 90. And then the other side would say 2-7 two, for 270. So if you ever look at an aerial, you can tell the exact orientation based on north, based on the numbers on the end. And then if there's multiple runways, they'll be labeled, you know, L and R, or 1 and 2. There you go. Can I have another traffic question? Can you pick one from the crowd? Pick one from the crowd, please. Is there anything about... Uh, my first crush girlfriend is shot was a barrel racer. Ooh, run away. Run. Barrel racers are the craziest. This is a barrel racer. Is she? Jamie? She's a nutbag. It's not at all. Not in the least. Didn't she party with a little person exclusively for a long time? Say what now? What'd you say? Nothing. No, the only thing crazier than a barrel racer girl is an English girl. The girl who rides English, not uh, English. That's, yeah. No, like girl who rides English. That only thing crazier than barrel racers. 
Because they have to be, they're like super prop. They wear the better pants, but barrel racers just wear jeans, which is still good. Yeah, we lost 25 viewers, traffic dog. <laughs> <laughs> We're building links. There's, I think it's the link building. What's a perfect pitch for rain? Oh, God damn it. For what? Perfect pitch for what? For rain runoff? Stop. That's Seriously. Normal crown is 2% on a road. There's not, you don't really deal with that much for runoff. I'll keep the comments about hairdressers being crazy to myself. Why? I worked with them forever. I was one. I know when they are. They're a stripper you can bring home to mom. <laughs> Phoenix's mom was a barrel racer. <laughs> Bet he knows then. My first girlfriend wrote English. She's now going to prison for shooting her baby daddy nine times in the back last November. Can we have more? Where's Dale C when we need him? Like, that's something he would say. I, I'm just saying. There is nothing. The only thing that surprised me about that statement is that she's actually going to prison. Because usually girls who write English also have significant amount of money backing yeah. them. But nine times is probably pretty hard to defend. I bet she's not going away for long, though. No. I bet she'll get off. <laughs> Hopefully she's pretty. Girls who write English usually are pretty. Yeah. yeah. What do you have today that was in that you said? He was eating a, I found a receiver on the ground. It's got a tooth mark on it. I think it. Is. So that's probably why he... You were using it as a toy? No, because it was underneath my Pilates machine when I went in to use it today. And I so I threw it out of from underneath my Pilates machine because I was using it. So it was on the news. You can look it up. She was a nurse still at RCCC. <laughs> oh, I thought you were grabbing your phone. <laughs> Are you going with 12.0 or 12.3 with the Ray? Uh, staying with stock wheelbase 12.0. So this is the IRC00071 link kit. Kevin Venturino is married to hairdresser. Yep. Me too. No, a redhead? Come on. I married a redhead hairdresser for my second marriage. <laughs> I don't learn. <laughs> Good choice, though. Good choice. <laughs> Are tech questions permissible? Yes. Fire them out. What traffic tech question? No, no he's talking about real tech questions. Yeah. Chuck Norris was a hung like a horse. A horse is hung like Chuck Norris. <laughs> <laughs> I had an inmate who was in for stealing barrel racer girls' IDs. They shot him when he got out. Now he's a unit. <laughs> oh, there's so much to that story. <laughs> Redheads are batshit crazy. Sorry, Nicole. <laughs> Yeshi Schultz. Yep, the bimbo was an RN. <laughs> Phoenix, wait, who? That must have been the his, wife. yeah. The widow. No, the widow was not his wife. He no, would be I'm, dead then. No, I'm saying the widow or the wife. I really doubt the bullet or nine on that one. <laughs> the bullet or nine? <laughs> That doesn't make Josh just as crazy as me. Are you going 10, 2, or 10? Oh, wait. We already said that. Yeah. My mom was a hairdresser and went to an all-girl Catholic school. I was a hairdresser who went to a Catholic school, not all girls. My first wife was a hairdresser that went to an all-girls Catholic school. Okay. Yeah. Redheads are hot but crazy. They're the upper corner of the hot crazy graph. I've, yeah, exactly. I've seen that before. Yeah. Exactly. My wife was in Gr current. Girls named Tiffany. <laughs> Josh, to what extent do motorhomes and other large vehicles degrade road services in relation to cars and other like stuff? Everything is translated into I have an RC question. heavy trucks. And two, specifically Unimog 10, 4x4, having issues with servo horn interference with lanyard brackets and frame. Any suggestions? I have shimmed up the servo. Yeah, it's general. So servos are not standard. So the different the distance between the servo horn mounting position and the ears of the servo can vary greatly from one brand to another. Um, Savox is the worst about it. Protec actually not great either. Um, I use a lot of Fataba. They're usually really good. Sometimes they're almost shallow, though. Um, sometimes it depends on which side of the plate that the actual ears sit on, whether it's the top or the bottom, and how bad that that can be. 
Um, honestly, sometimes it's just one of those things like I put a 370 TBL in my first 1.9 Wraith and it was an interference nightmare. So we'll see how this uh, power hobby fits in here. Sometimes it's just a, a thing where it's just, it's not the right servo for it and you got to try a different brand. The RF girls usually don't get caught. They have access to tractors. What girls? Rare racers. I'm telling you. Tractor, tractors and or money. I mean. Just saying. Don't. Girls that are heavy into horses in general, just be, be cognizant of the dangers. My wife heard anger is your whole life. Dressage riders are all proper. See? I'm telling you. Pro he said they're proper. Mm, I think he knows. He married her. He knows. He just doesn't want to. He just doesn't want to let. So he doesn't want to let the secrets out. Secret. He knows what he's got. I bet she typed that for him. That's and she's looking over his shoulder. She's like, "I'm watching this stupid shit." <laughs> she just heard the chat. I'm like, nope. We're gonna respond to Definitely. that. We're gonna respond to this, and then I'm gonna take your phone away. My fiance is in a horse. He's fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Did I hear Josh using a non Futaba server? Server. Uh. If it ends with an I, just move along. <laughs> Dated oh. said, and yes, name Tiffany, crazy daredevil. For a C2 rig, four man drop tech mini T springs, do you go for soft springs, front or rear? Uh, I went soft on both when I did, but it was a re it's a light rig, so it kind of, it's really depending on the the weight of the rest of the rig. If you got a hard body or interior, then you gotta you gotta start adjusting. Spring weights. Spring rates? Spring weights. Yes. Okay. Alex, like a little haggard? What? What? So if it ends with an I, just move along. Yeah. How, how does Merle Haggard fit into that? Soft. Okay. Time for putting links on to. So we need to identify our drag link and pan hard, which are these two. Grab our steering arms. So Sherwood's a redhead. They're, you can handle them. They're the way to go. So, so many. Isn't that from next Friday? Sweet D? Yeah. I don't know. So many new roundabouts going in our town. What's the best plan for pit cycling? Traffic to flow through urban trail managers asking. What's the best method for managing pedestrians? That is hard. And honestly, the ADA kind of screwed that up a little bit. All right, I'm because done with this. you can fucking when we had to, Instagram him. We had to manage that with a roundabout we put near Argosy Parkway by our old house. Um and yeah, you almost had to put in like a a uh, a pedestrian signal in advance of the roundabout to like kind of meet Hawk signal? No, that's a hybrid actuated crosswalk. Stop! Oh my god! What? How did you remember a hawk signal? I'm so impressed. Wow. Just saying, I'm proud of you. But yeah, that was a really difficult one to actually manage pedestrians with, like, trying to actually fit the interpretation of the laws in main in a lot of ways. Super interesting. Um, not easy. I agree. Hello but, from Malaysia. Hey. So a hawk signal is. Oh, up, Josh. Oh my God. I bet, I bet people. Nobody wants I bet to people. Have, the thing is, is people run into them and they don't understand how to use them. Stop. There's Sukhpatamus. No Loctite on steering arms. No. Uh. Not on, oh, you mean on the front part either? No. But on the little 164 screws, never, never Loctite. Um, and on the big M3, it's got a little bit of tension, so I don't use it. Um, the steering arm spacing is usually made for a 280 ball, 280 thou. And these are, or sorry, it's made for a 300 thou ball, and these are 280. So it gives it a little bit of compression, so I'm always good. What are you going to get for dinner tonight? I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. What, what? She just bit part of it off. I think she ate it. Bit part of what? The zip tie. Oh, that'd be right. Oh, cheapy. 
Bye guys, shark stuff is on. I know, right? Not on Nat Geo, not on Discovery. Shark Week? Oh no, it's pre Shark Week. No, it's like, well, they have like it's six the, weeks of it. It's their Shark Week before Shark Week? Yeah, but they have like six weeks of it. Weren't we watching some shark, some Nat Geo shark stuff? Yeah. Because they have six weeks of it. How much shark? A lot. How can that, how can sharks I watch a lot of shark shit? Six weeks? Yeah. I feel like I would be an expert in sharks by that time. Are they bringing anything new? I mean, not yet. I think it starts tonight. You just so you just sit there and agree with it the whole time? You're like, yep. Yep. What do you mean? It's like, yes, it's on Nat Geo. Well, yeah, but like, unless it's new information, why are you interested? Because it's, I mean, it's like from 2019. So you're just sitting there agreeing the whole time. Yeah. Agreeing? I don't agree. Agreeing with anything. Like, knew that. Knew that. Knew yeah, that. I mean, huh? Then why are you watching this? It's cool. Have you ever seen a seven gill shark? Or a thrasher shark? No. Right. Or a frill shark? Oh, they're so cool. I'm just saying. I've seen Fast and the Furious a bunch of times, but this sounds way more boring. No. It's not. Whatever. I know a guy that does some of the Shark Week stuff. White guy with dreads. I've probably seen him. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like all the guys who do the Shark Week stuff. I would, I asked Josh if I could do have dreadlocks. And he said no. Absolutely not. Unless you could unless you could kind of look like Angelina Jolie and Gone in 60 Seconds, which then I would kind of be okay with it. Totally could. They're blonde dreadlocks. Yeah. I feel like that'd be a lot of work. White girl dreads. I love I them. I think they I mean, look so good. White girl dreads are... I don't know I, if, like, the theory of them is okay. Like long flowy skirts though. Because I feel like you have to wear like long and like lots of bracelets. No, that's the other type of white girl dreads, which are not okay. You have to be Angelina Jolie style, otherwise it's out. I mean, I don't know how to hotwire a car, but then I'm then it doesn't really matter. Then this conversation's over. Interesting. Hey Josh, what rear portal axle from Vanquish would work best for doing a VS410 with straight front? portal rear um really there's only one that you can buy it's the regular she can't hear this i typed it hunter jumpers versus nuts is bear racers <laughs> <laughs> i think i'm grabbing the wrong screw maybe would josh rock a mohawk no i would no. never let that happen i guess i need a longer screw yeah, well, Monica from Friends got braids, not Monica. dreads. <laughs> not dreads. Those were braids. Dreads are way harder. Unless you're the lead singer of Corn, probably best. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. I like. There's two. Tokyo Drift is the best Fast and Furious movie. Then there's fine words. I mean, I do like Tokyo Drift, but that guy is the worst actor of all time. He's on like NCIS New Orleans or something. He's so bad. He is so bad. He is a bad He's actor. He's the worst actor ever. I like watch him like, oh my God, dude. Like, he, uh, yeah. He's such a bad actor. <laughs> Are the Vanquish Portal that much better at that price? Uh, I mean, then what? Yeah, there's not... Biased opinion, but yeah. I mean, yeah, they are better. But they're complete, too, which other ones aren't. Like, they come with ring gears and axle shafts and things like that, so... Um... Vanquish or tits? <laughs> Cliff Blade. Oh, our tit. <laughs> I thought it was an either-or. Like, Vanquish or... Like, what are, we... Ooh, what are we buying? That's a good question. Vanquish or tits, Josh? <laughs> <laughs> that's... Question. Let's hear it. <laughs> I mean, let's hear it. There's some pros and cons to both. I would have a hard time deciding yeah, you would. just one. Yeah, you would. One keeps me interested for a longer period. I'll which let you, I'll let you guess which. Which one? Which one, Josh? <laughs> that's that's the hardest. That's the yes, hardest. Is. I don't know. That is a. Those are really hard to. S <laughs> you know, I, have a I have a legitimate hard time answering that question. Yeah. Hmm. I'm still thinking about it. I'm not trying to get glance over the question. I'm just I mean, 
I feel like I need to do more research. Hold up. Are we talking about stock boobs or aftermarket? <laughs> <laughs> I'm all about hop ups. Like. <laughs> The hop-up market is where things get good. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> okay. You're saying you have had no, you're, you're as, as it came out of the box, you've had no upgrade. <laughs> yeah. Both have to <laughs> not count. Fuck you very much. <laughs> I'm just... I just realized how it came up. Um, I feel like you've had, you've had a new a new paint job put on a few times. You've had, this is my real hair color. All of that? Minus the blonde. I'm just, okay. That's Keep talking. Modifications. Keep talking. Modifications. Keep, digging. <laughs> Keep it digging. <laughs> so we're installing stainless links. Uh, 12, 12 point wheelbase. We're about to throw this under the chassis. I can't pay for upgrades because I pay for fucking <laughs> RC cars. So <laughs> that's why. I guess I've actually made the decision already. <laughs> it's been vanquished. <laughs> huh. Oh my goodness. Learn something every day. <laughs> this drastically turned into my favorite live show. <laughs> I was gonna ask about your red hair color. Did Josh make you do it? Josh has never made me do anything ever. But I have got good at noticing when hair changes. Like, oh, you got. You when know. is my hair change? I've had my hair like this since before you met me. I know, but I've noticed, like, when you've cut it or think. Mm -hmm. Vanquish your tits to my M05 Yaris. <laughs> Sell this ripper, Nicole, then you can have some hop ups. I don't want any hop ups. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> He's going to need the kill dozer at this point. <laughs> I am not concerned with any of that. I know. <laughs> but, like, really? But, like, what? I like how you're trying to turn away from me as much as possible. I'm not. I was now. looking for parts. Speci yeah, drop the drive shaft screw. Oh my god, you're so stupid sometimes. It's amazing. And like on why? Like, oh, like <laughs> you're gonna go back and watch it. It changes. Not, but obviously. Like, so it doesn't matter. None of it mat nothing matters. Nicole's a classic. You can't mess with her. <laughs> no. You're saying you wouldn't rather have a pro mod than a stock cruiser? No. No. Not when it comes to <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm aware that you prefer pro mods. In cars. <laughs> you were just digging. You also have a VS410. Comes with all the upgrades out of the <laughs> <laughs> so nice. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna rebind a cold tire for the beat. We're installing drive shafts now. You're so dumb. <laughs> oh. Shut up, John! <laughs> Somebody's like, Kit Star or Asterisk. Kits. I'm in kits. <laughs> Vanquish your kits. You can't drive a pro mod every day. Just saying. Thank you, Travis. <laughs> <gasps> the gas mileage is terrible. RCs, guitars, surfing, mountain biking, and tits. Yes, I'm a Renaissance man. <laughs> <laughs> like two in a GS stage one. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> boobies win always I mean obviously not <laughs> obviously not these stock ones shit depends on what you mean by driving a pro mod 
Tonight on Friday Night Live, I dig my own grave. <laughs> I'm thinking Josh could not keep up with a heavily modified version. <laughs> He'd try. <laughs> pro mods are only for a living a quarter mile at a time. You can drive a pro mod every day, but you shouldn't. <laughs> Nicole's always the winner, Josh. Just think, Josh, she gets them. You win. <laughs> oh. Uh, I wonder how often Josh is banished to the second bedroom. <laughs> have I ever? Oh, yes, well, I have you had. You can drive a pro mod every day, but it's temperamental, expensive, and super high maintenance. So obviously, exactly right? my my there life. You go my life. Matthew Jorgensen, number one spot tonight. You won't be installing your drive shaft tonight. <laughs> Josh, can't you just 3D print some upgrades? It'd be a lot cheaper. I can smelt some. Best shirt idea, Nicole. Which one? Josh is going to end up sleeping with the sharks and not the ones on Nat Geo. I use them some hammerheads, bull <laughs> sharks. And this has been the life of a dead man, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> OEM is nice, but the aftermarket has great options. I don't know what that means. Oh, Justin Taylor said, you might be a pro mod, but Nicole, you're definitely a pro stock. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Vanquish your tits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you going to flex seal the drive shafts too, or just axle? <laughs> Shock oil, bump his arm, Nicole. Clean with your own drive shaft tonight. A woman told you you're dead, so goodbye for after this video. <laughs> oh, EM doesn't sag. Oh, ouch. <laughs> that doesn't, he said. I know. What does OEM mean? Original equipment manufacturer. Oh, Stock. Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> Just don't go to the J concepts of plastic surgeons. <laughs> hmm. Do you remember, what was that website called? Like, something Richie? If I get banished to the second bedroom, it's not terrible. If I get banished to the semi, I know what flowers are to be ordered. <laughs> I, th I have slept in the second bedroom a number of nights in the last... Never, because I made you. We've never... No, it was because, like... Legit It never. was because uh, Chief had his nuts cut off. And it and... was too hot for me to sleep in there. Yeah. So I had to sleep in the... S S Lloyd boobs. <laughs> um, so we had to... We... No, it was when we first got Chief. I and, slept in there. And and when he got his oh, nut, yeah, nuts cut off. I don't sleep in there. Yeah, so whenever the cats have something that they have to be a little bit isolated, I end up sleeping in the second bedroom with them. It's too soft for me. Our regular mattress is like, it's it's literally called the plank. Yeah. It's called a plank the mattress. It's before. barely a mattress. It's so good. It's 15 sheets of OSB stacked together and wrapped in fabric. It is rid it is ridiculous. Oh my, well there'll be a Tuesday scale mod update this week. <laughs> Josh is getting the neuter if he keeps it up. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> we lost 40 viewers. Yeah, you know what happens. We're down to our base. Yeah, we're we're down to the We're down, down to the, our writer dies. <laughs> <laughs> this is that's reasonable. I yeah. get it. I'd leave. I'd leave if I didn't know us. It's just the beginnings of a good water board. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, otherwise I have to sleep on the floor. Yeah. And I'd rather that she sleep in the same bed as me, even if it's a very uncomfortable bed. That you, point. it's comfortable. You're asleep in 30 seconds every night. You're snoring. You're fine. I do fall asleep freakishly fast. Yeah. If you tear that mattress apart, there's a few thousand in USB. <laughs> He meant USD. Sookie sitting on the mouse? Was that what it was? Yeah. Or was it? No, she was sitting on the mouse. I oh. heard it click. Hit that like button, people. Thank you, Wild Style Customs. That was a cute name. Wild Style. Like Sookie. Sookie's Wild Style? Yeah. Gosh, will be in the tub with his new boat. <laughs> <laughs> when I walked in with that box, Nicole was so happy. Like impulse. Yep. 
That's a good name for it. I said, turn your ass around. <laughs> but I did say, yeah, impulse is a good. I was so upset. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing with a boat? <laughs> boat. <laughs> she should have been excited. She like, I guess we're going to the water. I mean, I do love the water, but like. Why do we need a boat? Like, can we not, like, if we ever get a boat, it better be full size. Full size. Real boat. I don't want none of them play boats. Well, the only play boat we've ever had got blown up in Disney. Oh, yeah. that's right. Me and you and John. We did blow and that Howard up. Howard were, blew up that boat. <laughs> I mean, we didn't do it. We off, we. Oh, we played with the boat and then Philip blew, blew it up. Yeah. Okay. With a very large, and Shane, totally legal firework. Shane. Yeah, what was Shane doing? Hold me over because I didn't realize you guys were blowing that boat up or blowing something up. And Shane was like, get over here and got me out of the way. And like, it was a very legal. Mercy shrapnel was coming towards Honestly, me. Honestly, I couldn't believe the shrapnel. We were a long ways away. No, I wasn't. I didn't know what was going I was just like, da -da 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 -da, and like walking around. And Shane pulled me over and was like, get over here. I'm like, oh my god, you saved my life. <laughs> I mean, it's a little over dramatic. I know, but obviously, if anybody was gonna sh save your life at an event, it would definitely be Shane. I mean, totally. That's why I love Shane because he's like the most level. Shane Zerba, Zerba built on uh, Instagram, who always has interesting projects. It's S Z C Z E R B A. Him and his brother, they're adorable. Right. But yeah, yeah Shane still hard. builds awesome stuff. It's definitely worth following on Instagram if you have That's it. That's your tool, right? That everyone else yeah, has to the Zerba built tool. S-Z-C-Z-E-R-B-A. I got it right. Yeah. Boom. Him and his wife are both what? Zerba. Forest yeah, well, they both work, in the, they work in the forest industry. They both work for private companies. But they're so. scientists. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's right, but they it are. definitely sounds right. Do you think that if Orlando made a bass boat, made a boat, a bass would eat it? <laughs> I mean, that's a logical question. Barack Collins gave us $5. Thank you. And he has a Peter Griffin avatar. Okay. Awesome. So I'm looking at picking up some brass portals for my TRX4, but I'm wondering if someone makes tungsten portals. I have not seen anything heavier than brass offered. Um, the heaviest option that I've found is taking and putting the hot racing outers on other portals. Stop eating shit off the floor. So that's what I've done at this point. Until I start m smelting my own. But at that point, I do believe that that is the, the heaviest. I've not seen anything tungsten. I don't, I don't think tungsten's super easy to machine. Uh, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure, but I know it's, it's also very, very expensive. My, no, my, my ring is cobalt. Cobalt, yeah. White Toe Josh comes home with an ever useful tugboat. If I come home with an RC tugboat, you can yell at me. What's the cheapest option for a four wheel steel receiver controller? Ooh. Um, ooh, I, I don't know that. I don't know what the cheapest option is there. But at the same time, I don't know it. If there's anything that I recommend, it would be don't cheap out on your controllers. It's the only thing you're using all of the time you're ever using your RC. Like, it's the one thing you're touching of your radio control car. Like, don't cheap out on the radio. Get a good radio. Like, you know, it's physically the thing you're interacting with the car with. So, like, consider that. And then... Spend some money in that area and get a proper one. Get something get something nice with some options that you can control all of your vehicles with one radio. I buy an RC Titanic. What's a more useless RC boat? Tugboat or sailboat? Great question. Tugboat. <laughs> yeah, because a sailboat like you can actually do something with. It's you like can do the same thing with a tugboat. It's a but kite though. Kite's more fun than the RC. So are you changing your answer? Wait, no, you still said sailboat. You said more useless. No. You're saying the sailboat is more fun than an RC car, so a sailboat is more fun than a tugboat. What? A kite is absolutely not more fun. Kites are like... I have way more fun with kites than I do with... Oh, 
You're a simple person. Tugboats suck. Tugboats suck. <laughs> that seems like such a strong opinion. I laughed at the tugboat, but I'm not saying they suck. The RC Mass Master says it, so it must be true. Four foot RC battleship needed. I can guarantee you that's a thing. Four, I, I bet it is. For sure. And if it doesn't make that sound, whoever's driving it is making that sound for it. Totally. Oh my God. Right? I knew a tugboat captain once and he sucked too. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew a guy and we were in the RCC days or, and he was a captain. I'm not sure if it was a tugboat, but I think it was or like something like it. It was a boat that like pushed a barge. Perry G gave us $2 for these damn tiny screws. And he was the cap or he was a, like a first mate of a boat called, and I'll never forget it. It was 10 years ago when I found it. The boat was named the Harry Waddington. And I just will never remember. That's the funniest name of a boat. They have battles with RC warships. They fire ball bearings. Funny story. Sweet D was into quad line performance kites before going into the dark side of RC. Oh, you know who else was into performance kites? Jerry. Jerry. My favorite. Yep. The DMG. Jerry Justice. This is of the best people I've ever met. He is one of the best people. I totally agree. Yeah. Um, but yes, he was into the performance kites. Lawnmower races. Lawnmower racing, performance kites, RC cars. He's the one who made KCRC's big mountain. Yep. Trailer mountain. And KCRC. Well, yeah, obviously, yeah. And he does um I mean, I feel like if you're into lawnmower racing in general, like Pretty good chance I want to hang out with you. I'm not into guns, but I'd totally shoot a tugboat. <laughs> <laughs> battle kites? What? I've heard of battle kites. And you think my friends aren't interesting. Maybe shop guy trolls people talking about nitro fighter kites. <laughs> you get trolled by an RC nerd. Shut it. You're doing something. We troll people. We troll people all the time. I had a substitute teacher named Harry Glasscock. Best day, best day of eighth grade ever. <laughs> Why don't you attach a kite to a boat? It's not as much fun that way. I think that would be very unstable. I think that would be very difficult to... Those Dumask submarine kits from the 80s were nuts. There was a guy who built one that fired torpedoes that actually had pin detonators and they'd explode on impact. I mean, that's pretty rad. Phoenix, Anything that explodes. Phoenix, Phoenix just said nothing. I kind of want to fly a kite now, says Alex. <laughs> my, my my metal shop teacher was Russell Junk. <laughs> my metal shop teacher name Josh, was... But a clean up. That is an under fucking statement. Ruh -roh. That is an understatement. He needs a Roomba just to follow him around in general. He needs an off road Roomba. A friend of mine has the last name of Ball. His parents named him Harry. It never gets old. That's something my parents would do. All right. We are. He didn't name us like ship. Or something. Speaking of shit, I got a ship cruise. I'm I'm surprised I didn't do something stupid like that. I could I could see it, but I could see it like unintentionally. Like, oh whoops. Okay. Uh the issue is is that oh, this motor is some new shit. My last name is Cruise. This is a 550 length motor, and it is interfering with the upper Rear upper link during compression. So I'm going to have to flip the skid plate around, remove the spur gear cover so it clears the interior so that I can put the motor on the opposite side as the upper front link. I can't. I'm about done. It's 8.30. That's not very late. I don't, but I need to eat. We're getting there. We're going to have something that looks like a roller before too long. What? Mean dog. It's like if you can. I know what it means. I'm what exactly? Then why'd you say it? I 
I got it. My kids crack up when they drive past Dick's Sporting Goods. They say they only sell athletic supporters. Someone's about to get hangry. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Saturday somewhere yet? Anybody? Where? What are we eating for dinner? Moose chicken. What are you bringing us for dinner? What are you talking about? We had sushi yesterday, so we can have sushi again. Yeah. It makes me money on this chat from this. Thing, so. Son of a bitch. I gotta undo the drive shaft. Denise's name was intentional, so her initials spelled ass, just in case you went to private school. So how much mead do I have to send you to join the mod group? <laughs> <laughs> it will be Saturday in 26 minutes here. See, people... Wait. What? Yeah, it's like 11 30 something. These people are legit ride or die. 6 35 a.m. in Estonia. 12 34 in M in P E I. What? In P A. How did you have a hard time with that? In P A. Oh, up above that. Ah, uh, okay. Sorry. It's 4 35 here in Wales. Ah. Saturday. That's great. This should I. Take that off to rabbit hole. I think I'm gonna run to Angry Chicks for dinner. What's that? Angry Chicks? Yeah. It sounds like spicy That's chick. It sounds like spicy chicken. But you already knew you were gonna have to do that motor flying. It's 1:34 in Australia. Wild Sal Customs. 1:34 p.m. Probably. Thank you for the entertainment. Good night. What can we say at this point? It's almost turned into a shit show. And like I said, I think I have to take off the motor cover, otherwise it will hit the interior. Still a chance the spur gear is going to rub, but yes, we'll figure it out. What do you say? He's, per he's forgiving for calling this place Tommy Point. <laughs> How many people know someone named Nivea? Oh, that was a discussion on Wednesday. Yes. You shouldn't discuss things like that. Nobody can help what they're named. It was... It, it was because Matt had a giveaway and the winner's name was like Brex, Braxton or Bryson or something like that. And we're just like, someone had made the joke like, oh, you're gonna have to hit him up on TikTok. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I love TikTok. him and his sister Nevea will have a great time with it. <laughs> that which it seems like about the same time period as Braxton to me. No, I think so. No, no, that is old. That's like 20 years ago. Braxton's like. No, it's no. not 20 years ago because Moose Jaw said he had three Neveas in his class this year, and that's eighth grade. Boom. Science. I have facts. Oh, Matt Collins says, my daughter dances with two of them, and See? his daughter's little. See? I have a friend whose name is Heaven Lee. Like L-E-I-G-H. That's country. That sounds country. Crazy's my middle name. Well, actually, it's Raymond, but I still want in Phoenix. We're going to have to switch the upper link to the other side. I have two 18-year-old students named Braylon. Braylon? TikTok sucks. Whoa. Watch your mouth. TikTok's amazing. I love TikTok. I mean, we do. We, sometimes, like, if we're, like, don't have anything to do and we're just want to, like, cuddle on the couch, like, you want to watch TikTok? I don't do that. I never do. Yeah, that. you do. Like, you want to watch TikTok? Yeah. And then we sit and watch fucking TikTok all night. It's our bonding time. Live streaming RC builds and watching That's TikTok this together. Not bonding. This is bonding. Not bonding. We are closer after this. Our bond is stronger than ever. I had no woman whose daughter is named Billy. The mom is a redhead. Are you? Did I really? Julie. No. Yeah, TikTok and chill. TikTok. Tits or TikTok, Josh? Both, because that's the best part of TikTok. I know, he'll be like, he'll like, like scrolling if we watch his TikTok, and then he's like, <laughs> like you don't pass that one. <laughs> really? <laughs> like, I don't know. Why you're, like, we haven't shared the same Apple account for 10 years. Like, shit. Yep, don't know what that's all about. <laughs> Phoenix's tits always fits. <laughs> Phoenix old is old school. 
Where you at? She's so happy because Chief isn't in here. He must be chilled out somewhere. Oh, shit. What? That's what I have to do. Oh. Okay. We are putting all this stuff back in. I'm just trying to get it all somewhat in the right location. <laughs> I downloaded TikTok yesterday. Today was the least productive day ever. I know. They know what you want to see. They know. And that's why they're awesome at it. Okay, let's see. I feel like I was much closer to having this. There we go. I watch short versions of TikTok on Instagram, Instagram Reels. Yes, Instagram Reels are also good, but not as good as TikToks. Like they have, and they're not necessarily short versions. They're basically just TikToks, but TikTok's just better at predicting your, what you want to see. The, the uh, variety on, tick, on Instagram Reels is much less. Right, so front axle will be installed here shortly. Okay. Let's see. It looks like my, oh, my spur gear does clear, especially because I went to that 52. I think the 56 would have rubbed. Good deal. Now let's throw the rear axle in. Instagram reels. Yeah, Instagram reels, it's like the, they'll pop up like in between regular posts as like little short things. You'll, you'll notice that Instagram acts different when you're watching them. What about Snapchat? Oh, I never watched, I've never really, honestly, I could never figure out Snapchat, not gonna lie. Just could not figure it out. Nicole is wrangling cats out there. Gonna have fun tearing my own right tomorrow. Put a Hobbywing 1080, wasn't the bomber in it. Yep, this one. So we put the Hobbywing Fusion in this one. I think I can put the skid plate in finally. It's been floating to right now. There we go. There we go. Now let's get these links reinstalled. Oh, I need to reinstall this drive shaft before I finish the, we're going to make sure we phase the drive shaft, which means lining up the ears with each other on the two halves. Come on. There we go. Quick, she's gone. Traffic talk. Yeah, get your traffic questions in. Let's see. Ever watch The Last Starfighter on Betamax? <laughs> That's pretty funny. But no. I looked at my friend's Instagram feed and there was an advertisement after every post. Well, that's unfortunate. Is it possible to make a road out of plastic? I have not seen that before. I feel like that's something that somebody could have done. There's the living roads that I've seen people do that are kind of that way, but those are usually more like, like uh, driveways. It's where they have like a plastic substrate that goes down and then grass grows through it, but it's still a surface to drive on. Okay. Yeah. Working on a poor pro, never enough parts order 24 millimeter servo horn, need 20 millimeter. Damn it. Yes. That's the length needed for 
the pro. Okay, so we got that. Oh, I didn't put the shocks on the rear for some reason. I did it on the front, but whoops. Grass pave. Ah, that's what you guys call it. We always call it living, living roads or living drives. Last Starfighter is one of my top fives. I don't know that I've, I don't know if it's Last Starfighter. I don't know if that rings a bell. Rear drive shaft upgrade for a 10-2 running high powered brushless power uh, used as a pulling truck. I would, I mean, incision drive shafts have never failed me. So there you go. My neighbors are shooting off fireworks right now. <laughs> Are the minor power signs under a yellow sign the recommended speed? They are what's called an advisory speed. So it is usually the design speed limit of a roadway. And therefore, it's not a rule. You can't get a speeding ticket because of it, but you could technically get a reckless driving ticket if a cop really wanted to push it. Did you know that? A little yellow sign underneath of like a curve? Don't care. It's called an advisory speed limit. It's not actually a law. You can't. Uh, we're getting pretty close. We have a fully upgraded drivetrain, at least. He's so mad at me. Is he? Yeah, he hates getting a medicine. He doesn't like the pill? No. He doesn't like the medicine. Oh, yeah. I know. Are you so mad? You big mad? Are you so mad? Are you so mad, little woman? Oh, it's so hot in here. I know. What are you ordering for dinner? I don't know. What do you want? No. What about the burger place? You can order that, and then when it gets here, you can be done. It takes like an hour. Just it's saying. Friday night. Whatever it takes. What, what day is it? It is Friday. That's why this show is called Friday Night Live. Shut up, Josh. <laughs> God. <laughs> Quit. <laughs> Quit. What are the risks due to slope or embankment failures on highways? That's honestly not something we ever really dealt with because that would be something that would be like a a failure of the geotechnical side, which not on me. Okay, so let's install the front act or er, front shocks. It's Friday. Right? I set up a Wraith 1.9 for Badlands, didn't get to run it as somebody else was always running it. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I need the shock pivots, which I didn't grab out of the bag, but I also have brass ones here. We sell a little brass upgraded shock pivots, like a brass ball, but for the shock. Is your Wraith 1.9 unscannable? I'm sure that is some sort of sky sci-fi reference. Or wait, are you talking about idiocracy? Because if you're talking about idiocracy, I'm in. Where's your where's your where's your tattoo? Why why no have tattoo? What's the next monthly mayhem? You'll find out when it goes live, but it's only in conceptual stages at this point. We have the RCPC to finish, and then we have a budget build to knock out. Okay, so there's that, but I lost the other plastic spacer. I remember that when I uninstalled it. So did I drop it on the floor? I did, I knocked down. Aha. Brass, you're a monster. This is the right application for brass. In a pivot like this, where it's a wearable item. Mm -hmm. 
right. So, front axis completely on. Rear axle not done. No shocks installed yet. So, we got to get to that. But, let's see. How's everything feel up there? Feels all right. Feels a little tight there, but I think we just got a little bit of servo or a little bit of rod end clearance to do. That's the one thing. This uh, this servo is the same way. It's as it as the suspension cycles, the servo horn or the the uh, pan hard, as you see right here, where's that right there? It hits the servo horn, and this is the a shallow servo horn, so it's fine that way. But this way, watch the flex. Uh, See it move out of the way? It's because the servo horn is hitting the pan hard. It's a, it's a definite downfall to the design of the 1.9 rate. It's the only thing that I've found. This servo is just as bad as that Protec 370 TBL. I may have to look at swapping it out, or I may have to look at trying to... The Wraith, sorry, the Vanquish servo horn is already about as low profile as it gets. So I do have a cap head screw in there that I can change out for a button head to gain a millimeter and a half of clearance or so. So I'll do that, but beyond that, it's just a have to use the 45 degree link on the ends on the link. Um, if I have to, I, I will. Um, I'm going to swap out first to the other, other screw to gain a little bit of clearance, but that's another... Another thing we can do, it's just a shitty part of the design. I don't like that. I noticed that on the very beginning of this. Even the a lot of the SCX 102s in stock form have that issue, which is an issue that should not happen. Who? Carol? Yeah. What's the question? I have. I mean, yeah, I, yes, I take lots of video with cameras. So, all right. Could you engineer this, but better? Yeah. Would a button head screw on the servo horn help or space up? Yeah. So the, the button head screw helps slightly. But the and I can't space up the servo horn because the servo in these um, mounts from the bottom side. So if it was like an SC Extend 2 where you could space it up, great. But this one is the opposite and therefore it's not an option. Panhard elimination possible, true four link. If you did that, you would end up having to clearance the chassis to get rid of the bracing in there to clear the servo. And then that it would just not. That would be a poor, a poor choice for the Wraith 1.9 because uh, there wouldn't be much bracing left in the front of the chassis, so not a route I would recommend. And my DSLRs. So. It still hits. We'll investigate later there. But it's just a poor design. One of the poor design features of the Wraith 1.9. But regardless, we're going to move forward. So we got to put shocks on the rear. And then this thing needs wheels and tires, which we have the wheels and tires. But we'll see. We'll see how long it takes for food to get here. Because after food. So go four link. I don't want to go four link. It's not the right choice for this car, and it's not. It's just not the right fit anyway. Um, I don't really think that the four link is a better situation than this car. And like I said, you'd have to remove so much material from the chassis that it would weaken it so badly that I think a four link conversion is just a 
a, a bad, bad choice. Carolina Ghost, thank you, sir. Five bucks. Just finished building my class one truck's interior, and no, I did not use craft foam. Missing out. Everybody should try it. Some super glue, some accelerator, and some craft foam. Psh. Will angled ball ends buy you a little more clearance? Stabby Josh, yes, they will. Um, and that's the route that I'll likely go, but I'm going to have to find those. I don't normally keep a lot of the stock axial ball end stuff. But I did just take, no, the links are in this are all one piece molded. So I'm going to have to find one specifically. And that, come on. All right, come on. Wing these things down. Vanquish milled one nine chassis. Yeah, about that. How many times do you glue foam to your fingers at night? Uh, a small handful. Definitely happened. Yeah. It was a good night, though. It was fun having Schultz on the live. We're using 80 weight in the shocks. I don't think I discussed that the first time. I think we had other topics being discussed. No, uh, but the interior that night got the points and that's all I needed for Sorka because in the end, performance mattered and we got it. That was really fun to watch. Yeah, Schultz was fun. Uh, Schultz was a fun guy to have on. Two person team works best for your content. <laughs> yeah, having another person besides you really helps the content. Could, where could I possibly find a good flip your lid kit for Axial Honcho? Oh, damn. That's a long time ago. An hour. It's an hour? Yeah. But I can't. You can help for a while. I'm kind of done. I don't know why I came back I'm, in here. I'm moving towards getting to a point where oh. I can focus less on it. So help me out for a little bit, and then you can be done done. Can you be done? What about now? Are we done yet? No, I hit my wall. Should have some of those angled ball ends on that 10 3 straight axle kit leftovers. I don't think I threw most of that away. 115 in sec tomorrow. What are you working on to stay inside? Um, I think I have a few things tomorrow. We do. Well, I have one thing with you. Yeah. What else do we have? Um, uh, well, we might go to Brandon Mitchell tomorrow after the mall. Oh, okay. Frank Skinner, we have a Skinner in here? Cousin Skinner? A cousin Skinner? Where could I possibly find a good flip your lid kit for the actual? Did you already read that? I did, but the, uh, yeah, I honestly have no idea where you would find one of those. A Skinner. It's like a... Good night, guys. Good night, Perry G. Uh, he's Audi 5000. I get it. Naked and afraid, actually. There's nothing happening. It's the body. Happening right now. It's over. Yeah. The XL's over and they're not, there's no new ones, so. Any problem coming up? Yep. Well, we've got Axial Fest coming up. And then after that, we've, I mean, I know we have like. Probably by the fire and Nursa coming up and we'll Nur I'm going to Chicago, Michigan here in a couple weeks. Chicago's in Illinois. Right. And Michigan, I said. Where are you going so to Michigan? In Michigan really? There. It's not far, but I'm flying into Chicago, staying in Chicago, going to see family in Chicago, and then going up to Michigan for the wedding. Hmm. Learn something new every day. Why didn't you tell me? How many days were you gone? <laughs> Brandon said, didn't sound very excited to come. Isn't tomorrow. Isn't tomorrow? What? Brandon, Brandon? Yeah. yeah Brandon's on here. I know? know. I don't know where my phone is. Maybe I read the text wrong. We're definitely going to the mall to support our friend. Yes. Tomorrow. That and I knew was tomorrow. To their house. I, I thought we were going there on Sunday. I thought that was Sunday. Oh, Brandon, are you coming to your house tomorrow or Sunday? What day am I leaving? 
I need scheduling. What day are we coming to your house? Shark Week starts Sunday. Shark Week starts Sunday. Visit. I said visit, lol. Oh, didn't sound very excited to come visit tomorrow. So I guess we're going to Brandon's house tomorrow. Oh, we're going. We're sure. I was just I was just told it was Sunday. I originally either, I thought it was Sunday. Either way, I'm going. I mean, we'll come Saturday and Sunday. They have a pool. Nicole's coming for the pool. Kids are a bonus. Are a bonus. Do my, I? Need, my friend is another bonus. <laughs> do I need to bring? I see Brandon all the time. Do I need to bring anything? Do I need to bring anything? Does Nicole need to bring anything? Live every week like it's Shark Week. Shark Week happens every month in some homes. <laughs> Jesus. That was a lot. That was a lot. Did you send the parts back? Maybe some offset links and that stuff. Brandon says, but those are larger. Speedo. Your Speedo. No one wants to see that. Your children will have nightmares. <laughs> Oh, my phone's right here. You found your phone? Yep. Holy poop, it's late. My God. Bring sunscreen and potato salad. We will definitely bring sunscreen always. I love potato salad. It is nine o'clock here. I'm very picky on my potato salad. Yeah. Specifically. Yeah, I don't are. I don't love mustard based potato salad. Which is crazy. Mayonnaise based potato salad is where it's at. Anybody who disagrees is <sighs> So mayonnaise based potato salad. Yeah. That's I do like mustard in my potato salad though, but not it's bait. okay, but it shouldn't be based on that. It should be based on mayonnaise. It's a show. Good morning, y'all. Gotta have hard boiled eggs in your potato salad. Yeah. Yeah. I like how you guys were talking about RC stuff and they're like, can you leave again? <laughs> Michelle disagrees. About potato salad? Or what day we're coming over. <laughs> Brandon's very confusing. I'm so confused. He's been up he's probably been up for a long time yeah. with kids. Like, tell us when we're coming over. What am I doing? Fall at some point and then listen, Brandon, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but we have total freedom of our schedule. <laughs> it only depends on the people that have kids around us. <laughs> You want a good potato salad or macaroni salad? Come visit. Ooh, sure. living in Amish country has. Yeah. I'm. I'm also. We lived in some Amish country. Missouri's got a lot of Amish, or Amish. Aioli know. based potato salad. Mm. What's What's aioli? Like a spicy mayo. Oh. Barbecue mayo. I've had wasabi aioli. I like that on my seared ahi salad. Mmm. Who are you? I like seared ahi salad from Brookfields. Oh, God. <laughs> that, I almost threw up. <laughs> That's not ahi. That's like the Subway tuna salad. That has as much tuna in it as a Subway tuna salad. That's a lie. This is box. You guys have no plans anyways. Come help wash the camping trailer tomorrow, then swim. Ah, I guess that is something I should be obligated to do. You guys can. So this is box. I think I have a label on this. We're gonna have to modify the inventory. Yes, this is uh, box number eleven. Don't you dare! <laughs> so I have. You're gross. You don't, nobody, nobody, nobody. I need the tires. All these. And then I have a truck over here that doesn't have tires. Oh, here, here's some tires for you. I'm gonna here's make some you. tires. I'm here, gonna you can have some tires. I'm gonna make you smell them if you don't knock it off. So, thank you, but I need to take those out of here for you. Thank you. Okay. So we're going to put trenchers on because that's, you're done. Good night. <laughs> no beef jerky tonight? Correct. No beef jerky tonight. Putting Alex in a 300 second timeout. <laughs> Can mods put the other mods in timeout? Jesse, try it. 
Hicks. Firefight. Tire press. <laughs> Do you want to smell these? No, oh, these don't smell. <laughs> yes, I love the smell of fresh Proline tires. I honestly don't mind it. Nope, I can, I can report him. <laughs> okay, so trenchers. There we go. But we also need to replace foams. Show. Mod Wolves. Yes. The world's worst discovery TV show. Anybody remember Junkyard Wars? That show was awesome. I need to bring that show back. All right. These are G8 compound. All right. But I need foams. So put these back. And it. Let's see. We have soft and medium. Okay. We'll do soft up front, medium in the rear. Those need to come out too. Who are these? Soft. Yeah. Okay. Front first. I do remember Junkyard Wolves. So it was like it. I mean, I'm sure that it was obviously there was some plants to it in the in the junkyard, but they were, I think they were intentional and obvious. You know, like monster truck tires if they were doing a freaking monster truck, but. Watching them scavenge the rest of the stuff for things was freaking amazing. Okay. So, trenchers with some Crawler Innovations foams, but we have beadlocks to assemble still. Wouldn't you want medium up front, soft in the rear? I prefer the firmer version in the rear um, rather than the front. What? Do you have something to say about that? Pro stock or pro <laughs> Um So I actually like the softer foams in the front because of the, you know, just being able to conform and things like that. And the firm in the rear, so like when you're trying to go up an obstacle that the rear doesn't collapse on you so much. Even though the rear is usually um, lighter than the front, I still prefer the firmer foam in the rear. Yeah, oh, still a few. We are putting, let's see, some scale hardware in here. Loving the new gold Vanquish wheels, they look so so good. I had on my VS410 Ultra back there, I actually had gold wheel. I've had gold wheels on it for quite a while and I loved them. Um, these new Method 105s look even better though because they're, uh, they don't have the etched finish to them. They're super glossy and they look fantastic. So, same with the bronze. Uh, maybe bronze hasn't been released yet. So we're putting the GR8 scale hardware into the wheels. It's the goldish color as well. So while it's not the exact same, it's hard to see. It's not the exact same gold. It's like close enough in, or the texture is different enough that it, yeah, it looks good. No Roswells to show off. Uh, I do not have a set of Roswells at home. I. I need to, but I think I'm going to put, I haven't decided what to put Roswell's on. They do look good. VS410 looks so cool, but the price is a bit steep. Would I be able to mount that body on an SCX-10 III? Um, you should be able to, you have to come up with some mounts or whatever, but, um, you know, the SCX, it's like the VS410, like by the time you upgrade a 
another kit, you usually end up with more money in it than, in it, than a VS410 in the end anyway. Let me drop the screw. There. Right. So the one thing, this truck does have some green graphics on the hood and the sides. I'm thinking of wrapping the hood with some carbon fiber vinyl. Um, and I can't really decide what I'm going to do on the side. I am going to do the fastback mod where you cut the back of the cage, put the other links in it to get it, give it a little different look. Then I'll probably do an aluminum roof. Holy shit balls. That jer what is it? Uh, that jerky is hot. Prime time. Did you get some of the Armageddon? How much did you try? Because yeah, it's amazing. I don't like the stainless screws on the headlight taillight bezels on the VS410. I mean, you could change it out if you wanted, but it's 164 hardware. It's like the rest of it in the car, in the kit that uses that. Um, be sure you put the turbos on the hood. Yes. The turbo mounts that I used to make for this truck um, don't fit now with the modified chassis. Maybe I should remodify that file to make sure it works. That's primetime RC. Yes, Matt sent his to me. A little piece. <laughs> That's awesome. He's such a baby. I've actually got through an entire bag of mine. Have you run into any of your Vanquish Beadlock Scale 2s stripping? Um, I've seen some of them like fine crack, which is what people think happens when they strip. And it's usually from just people um, putting a little bit too much stress on the screw. You really just need to wing them down until they're snug, give it a little bit of a turn and then stop. Um, that's almost what it is every single time. I've, I've put, I don't know how many sets of wheels together with them and I never had an issue, but it's generally from people thinking they need to like Hulk crank down their beadlock screws. And every time they're like, no, I don't I'm like, okay. But you you are. I know you are, because I've done the same thing 500 times and not had the issue. Regarding SLW hubs, which is closest to the width to stock, 350 or 475? It'd be 350 or 225, likely. Um, but it, it kind of depends on the wheel, because each wheel has a different offset as well. Like 105s are 200 thou wider than a machete. Um, and machetes and bullies may have a slightly different backspacing as well. So it's not exactly just that simple, but um, it's going to be either 350 or 225 on just about everything. My wife ate a piece in three bites. Screw that. <laughs> That's funny. So mounting the tre trenchers, Perline trenchers, G8 compound onto the 105s. So that's seated in. Get the back ring lined up. That. Now I didn't get hardware for the regular hardware for these because I these aren't like finished packaged wheels. So we're gonna use a little bit of black hardware. Uh, what do the dots on the wheels, asking for a friend. Uh, the dot is on the tire and that uh, denotes the compound of the tire. Um, you know, the difference between like G8 is a orange dot. I think blue dot is predator. If, if I remember correctly. Um, and then they have like dots for like clay compounds and things like that. So, but yeah, the, 
the dot on the tire just for the actual uh, Phoenix leaving this. Okay, I'm out. It's been a hot day and I'm passing out. Take it easy, Phoenix. So, but yeah, that is just a compound designation. I generally try and put it to the inside, but it also doesn't really matter because if you just take and clean off your exacto, you can take and just kind of clean it off and then it's gone. All gone. James Bush, thank you, sir, for the five bucks. Are the bearings in the Vanquish drivers replaceable? I've got one that feels pretty rough. Um, they're not really replaceable. They're a press fit. Um, so no, they're not like a serviceable serviceable bearing. Slow Don, 499, thank you, sir, all as well. Um, just because you're still on and I've been busy and still get to listen and chat with the best RC nerds. Thank you, sir, much appreciated. Yes, I'm going to just uh, keep cranking away on this until our food arrives. Nicole ordered hamburgers. Thread, no thread lock, never on wheels. Never on any screw on a wheel. No bead locks, no nothing. So, check our, all of them. There we go. Pretty good. Oh, we need, I am gonna put stainless brake rotors up front. And we need 350 hub, which I have. My bag of 350 hubs. These were a, you see it's got a, it says bad. These had a slightly off tolerance on one piece and not something we would sell. So this is my bag of uh, home 350 cups. <laughs> stainless up front and foam in the rear. Wait, stainless up front and foam in the rear. Oh, trap. Got me. That's, that's exactly right. That is exactly right. We're going to do the uh, black scale hardware for the uh, lugs. Line up our brake rotors, line up our hub. I used the GR8 hardware for the beadlock rings, but I'm using black scale hardware for the center um, because I don't want to use the the gold color next to the gold wheel. I like it for the beadlock ring because the black separates it, so you can't tell slight tone differences. So I'll show you here in a second. As someone new to crawling, what does the Wraith have as an advantage over the other axial crawlers? It's not necessarily anything as an advantage. It's just kind of a tube buggy style. It's a, it's just a difference in style. Um, you know, that means that it's got a rigid cage around it, so it drives a little different. Like a Lexan body, when you drive something like that, you, you know, you hit something, you feel the Lexan body kind of move on you. And it's one of those things like, when I say feel, like, you kind of start to, as you drive them more and more, like you feel what the car is doing as you're using it. Um, you can feel when it's in a bind, you can feel when it's starting to hook and start to climb. Like everything becomes a little bit more in tune. RCP and I got, I'll be at Axial Fest on Thursday. You can meet me there and I'll grab the Alpine. Good idea, good idea. So see the black scale hardware in the middle? the gold or GR8 style on the outside and stainless brake grater on the back, some black hardware behind it. So and
throw the wheels on this thing. Where's my wheel nut wrench? There it is. Feel, but it's remote controlled. Mike J, yes, you can. And once you, when you drive them enough, especially when they're on the rocks, you'll understand. It's one of those things. But go fast cars, I'm sure it's this, it's there's some of that, but on the rocks, it's more than anything else I've driven. Rotors are machined into the SLW hub. No, they're separate. I'll show you. I got a close up. I'll do I'll show you a close up of the second one here. So this is the stainless brake rotor that we make. It's a, it's a uh, Vanquish stainless brake rotor. This is VPS 04002, but um, so stainless weight, but the SLW hub fits right into the back of it. So there's one brake rotor, but you can still use a number of different SLW hubs. You generally need a 350 at least, but even so 350 can have interference issues depending on the knuckles you're using um, because they're still slightly inset. So like here's a 350 in there and you can see it's slightly inset from the edge. A 475 brings it flush. So a 475 will clear just about any knuckle setup, um, specifically portals. So a 350, you're usually, you're safer if you're using it on a straight axle vehicle where nothing is, you know, you've got the, the funky waves or, or, you know, clearance issues. All right, let's put our other beadlock ring on. Should send them to me so I can see what they look like on an orange wraith. <laughs> if you had to buy another brand of wheel, what would you buy? Incision. I don't know. That's... I haven't ran enough. I don't remember the last brand of wheel I ran that wasn't a Vanquish since long before I worked at Vanquish. Okay. And let's see. We've got how many more to do? I gotta start adding up. It's getting late here. What do I need? Oh, what all do I need for these wheels? Um, so these wheels, you know, like this is, if you would buy it, you would get the the gold wheel, the black ring, and then it would come with stainless hardware. Um, so I'm, I'm putting on the scale gold hardware, which is an option part. You don't need it. Um, this is the scale hardware driver set that we sell. We also sell a let's see. You don't want to buy the driver set like you just want to buy the tool tips. We sell them individually as well. Um, and they come just like this, which I guess I only have these here, but um, I'm not sure where this one came from. I'm not sure if this is a normal one or maybe it was pre, but you can buy the, the tip themselves and then you can take that. And if you had a, a, a different type of driver, like a, do I have a different type? No, but like the Vanquish ones, they have a, a just a set screw in the side. God, I don't Hulk on that. Um, and then you can take and just, you could put a driver tip, right? If you, just put that in, or they also have uh, a little hex on the shaft. You can see that? So you can take and put that into like a, a cross wrench and you can see that that fits right into it. So then you can just use it into a, a normal, like a cross wrench if that's all you wanted to put that and just Use that, and like I said, you don't need to torque these very much. Um, you just get them tight, snug it a little bit, and then that's it. 
Um, this might have been like a prototype tip even, because I think the diameter on this one is larger. It is. This might have been earlier. I don't remember. I think we... Which one was the one I had before? I don't know. I don't remember. It doesn't really matter. As long as it fits, we're fine. I think SSD were the ones that you last used. It could have been. I remember I used like their steel. I think I, maybe I used like some RC four wheel drive steel ones. Um, this is still on. Yes, Matt, it is because I just had so many things that I'm getting done. You're welcome. On one of the budget builds, I did use that on the Deadbolt budget build, I believe. And before that, I would have been like Aeratex and DNA. Anybody who remembers those old brands. I used to use, uh, Aeratex was a, a company out of Omaha. He made a lot, he made Delrin wheels pretty much specifically. Um, and then I ran a lot of DNA wheels. Or I think that it might've been the other way around. It might've ran DNA, then Aeratex. Either way, it doesn't really matter. This was a great episode tonight. Thanks. I think this was the other tip. I think I should have been running. I think we changed this to meet the other one. Nice tip on the cross wrench, drilled out an old dynamite handle. Yeah, you should be able to use, you know, a number of things, but the cross wrench is nice because you can just throw the, uh, you can just grab a tip or whatever like that, throw it in your, if you really cared, you could throw it in your, uh, like your fanny pack to go on the trail with so that you didn't have to worry about it, whatever. I missed the deadbolt, who has it? I sold the deadbolt to Tony Mazza um, and I, I think that he ended up selling it or part, I don't remember exactly where it ended up. Um, but I sold it so that I could buy a camera gimbal and that was, uh, yeah, basically any of the RC cars that I sell, it's usually so I can turn it into something else. Like, uh, I'm going to, I want to buy that forge or not for, it's not a forge. A fire furnace fire thing and it's 300 bucks so i'm kind of thinking like trying to think i was like man i need to sell something it's not that i couldn't buy it but i usually just buy it with rc things i buy with rc money this blade will kill <laughs> so i'm gonna buy that thing but like i said i'm like i need to sell something rc and then I'll buy that and I won't feel bad. I want a one nine, I want a Wraith 19 so bad. You are not helping. It's a great little car. Sell me that boat, Josh. I just got that boat. Matt and I gotta do something with them. Gotta go drive them boats. Teach me the ways of the Wraith 19. <laughs> Love mine so far. You can definitely use some work. Yeah, it you know, I even out of the box, I really liked you know, my first one the thing is with my first one, I ended up throwing a IFS kit on it, but in the end, I really wanted the solid axle back. So, but I just sold the first one with the IFS and now I built this one. Biggest loop. -de -loop. <laughs> first RC boat to go 204 miles an hour. All right, so I thought I already put, yep, I did. Tire with foam. Psycho 13 garage, thank you, sir. This is to pay for one of your fancy screws. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, sir, much appreciated. Right, we're going to get that all put in. Do you run any weight in the Wraith? I, I added uh, these brake weights, but that's about it. I don't really run any additional weight. Um, I don't like to run a lot of like extra weight unless there's um, like something really, really calling that it needs even more weight. I, I like throwing the, the stainless brake weights in on a lot of my trucks, um, but that's usually about as much as I do.
that seated in there. Have it. Feels good. Throw the back ring on. Okay. And I need to grab more of those screws. So we got to get the back side. I usually just kind of squeeze the two halves together, get the first screw started with like a couple threads. Switch, go 180 degrees, same thing. Get it pressed together, firm, few threads. You should check it. I don't normally. I usually feel like it's good enough. Um, and then start working our way around. A couple of turns or maybe a turn extra on each screw once it hits to tension. Just kind of slowly working the working that down. I usually don't have much issue mounting tires, but every once in a while you'll run into a difficult one. One thing I definitely need to do is vent these tires still. I always vent my tires. But I have not with either of these that I've already put on. So I need to do that before I end up at Axial Fast and my tires look like balloons. Uh, can you suggest any mods besides tires that'll help a box stock Wraith? Are you talking Wraith 1.9 specifically? Um, or are you talking Wraith 2.2? Probably need to put the hub on this. That would probably help. Got a vent for Axle Fest. Shut it, Matt. You need to vent for all events unless you want, are going in the water and you just don't want to deal with it. Otherwise, you should always vent your tires. Thank you. Not venting your tires is just handicapping your truck otherwise. Trying to run air pressure, any of that, silly. Vented tires, proper foams. That is the way. Let's get muddy. Only time not venting your tires is the way is if you just want to be like, I don't want the hassle of water and I just don't care about performance as much. Then I get it. Go for it. In my best Chris Farley voice, for the love of God, stop with the 60 Chevy truck bodies. <laughs> Have you ever done go-karting? I mean, just at like regular rental stuff. The kids in California. Always charge your lipos before we come. <laughs> Drink mud and screw water. 100% vented one, 100% of the time. Pretty much my feelings as well. Hey, we may get all four tires on before our food gets here. It's hard to say, it's gonna be close. First kit, my first kit build. Dylan, that's a great question. I think it was a Tamiya TLT, if I remember. Um, yeah. Take an extra tire unvented to Axial Fest to demonstrate. Mike J, that's a great, that's a great suggestion. You know what? The green and gold doesn't necessarily look bad. I kind of like it even. Damn. My ultra is green and gold. Psh. Should have known. I had great taste then too. Okay. Another wheel. More scale hardware. What was your first ever RC? Um, first ever hobby grade RC was a Tamiya TXT. I bought it used on eBay to turn into a rock crawler in 2004. I had, you know, toy grades before that, like when I was younger, but my first actual hobby grade, Tamiya TXT1. In my Wraith, I have a Mamba X and a Tekken 3100 KB Rock 412. Seems too much throttle. 
how much throttle curve you got programmed. Musha, I don't run any throttle curve in my radio. I run it linear. Um, I don't. I don't run any throttle curve really in anything. I just like a lot of. But my problem is, is like Matt says, is I don't. I don't use a lot of the curve. I usually use the endpoints. It's at zero or it's at a hundred, and then it's you know, or it's at a hundred but just one direction or another. I'm there to kick ass and take names. Oh, Nicole's opening the door. I think my food's here. You should do those wheels first. Charlotte, don't have to watch you build tires. Boring. Yes, I know. Shoulda, shoulda, coulda, woulda. The days of the stampede transmission. Yep, the old peed transmission. Back in those days, we even had to freaking what? Here. Yes, food is here. I'm gonna put one more tire together so you guys can see one side of the truck ready to go. Because I'm also hungry because I haven't eaten since nine o'clock this morning, twelve hours ago. I don't remember. I even think I was going to eat lunch today and then I forgot. Because I was hungry. And I just forgot I was hungry. So we did a 350 up front and the stainless brake weight. So the stainless brake weight has the same thickness as one step in an SLW hub. So for those that don't know, SLW hubs vanquish wheels you have a 225 and a 350 if you do the math between those it's 125 and if you put a decimal on that it's 0.125 which is an eighth of an inch each step of an slw hub is an eighth of an inch difference so that's how those are numbered 225 is 0.225 inches 350 0.350 inches blah 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 so an sl that brake weight was 0.125 inches thick so that makes my 350 hub i used in the front plus a brake weight equal to a 475 hub. So we're gonna use a 475 hub in the rear to make it even. There you go. Jesse Schultz, I got my first real RC when Josh did his deadbolt budget build, then ordered an HPI Sprint Drift. Nice, Jesse. Good old budget build. Just got my crawler education from Ryan Garish, AKA DS Pro. That is awesome. Ryan Garish was a legend. He built some amazing vehicles early in the day. He built one of the very first IFS front solid axle rear rigs um, that was done well. He did it with a Traxxas Summit two-speed transmission and kind of a badass style custom welded cage. Ryan was incredible at builds. My first RC had a wire with, from the remote. I had those as well, but I just don't remember what any of them were. I bet those budget builds sold a lot of deadbolts. I think you're probably right. Ryan's the king. Yeah, that is no kidding. Ryan is a legend. Mowed lawns all summer for a Fataba FX10. I only recently learned that Fataba actually made an RC car. Grant, I you know I learned also that it was like a rebadged version of something else, but still, still have my first RC RC10 T2. Hmm. He is genius. Good old Ryan. Yeah, Ryan, there was so many rigs Ryan did that were like influential in the progress progression of RC. Okay, last screw. Tire, we need foam again. We did uh, soft front. We're doing medium rear. Crawler Innovations, Little Novas. What color race should I get? Matt, you should definitely get the orange one since you continue to keep getting the color of cars that I should have got. He is still around, Josh. Yeah, yeah, I, I, uh, 
I think we're friends on Facebook. So I see him playing with the full size stuff. Well, kind of full size stuff. He's playing with like mini versions of full size stuff still, right? Like half scale. What are they called? Halflingers? Go eat your dinner. It's almost bedtime. Oh, I know. But I really want tires and wheels on this because then it's basically ready to go. After that, I really only have to do uh, some wiring cleanup. Yeah, fire truck. Yeah, that's right. He's got that little halfling or fire truck thing. It's so cool. I like how Alex is still trying to be the voice of reason. You should know me better. I think the trenchers are a good look on here. What kind of tire sponges are you using? These are Crawler Innovations, Lil Nova. These are four five heavyweight comp cut with medium outer and plus tuning ring. And yes, he wrote my name on the tag. He sent a box of foams to me, but he had mixed some in there for me and some for Dan. So he had to designate which was for which. Damn it, Josh, I'm so close to binary. Honestly, it's one of my favorite. You have, if you like the style, it's absolutely worth the buy. It's not as versatile as far as style from, you know, compared to like an SC Extend 2 with a chassis because you can change the body. This one, not the same, but beyond that, I just prefer the way it drives. I'm going to loosen that one up. It felt just a little off when I put it on there. Better already. Can't wait for my rooms to arrive so I can mount my Hyrax for my Capra. Pretty good choice all around. Let's see. Yeah, internet lag due to storm. Lost power for a couple seconds, long enough to reset things. Oh, Mike. Yeah, I heard Mike. Mike J. You had some storms last night too, didn't you? We have some friends in St. Louis who are delivering a baby right now. Nicole, did they deliver their baby yet? Did they have their baby yet? No baby yet. Josh, will you do a build breakdown on your Wraith 1.9 at some point? Yeah, I'll try and put it on my website. I'll try and do that this weekend. Yeah. My name is Jeff. <laughs> Jeff Judd, thanks for joining it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, James, I'll try and do a, a breakdown with a full parts list and all that, all that stuff. My scissors go. All this time, now I lose them. Am I blind? Got them. They were under something. 50k rig update. Still waiting on the body. Still. Still at the painter. Truck is done. It's been done for months and months, but we're still waiting for paint. I don't know. That whole the cage and everything was all cut to the body, and it's there was a lot to it. But we'll see. Trust me, I want that done too. The rig has been done for months. Months and months. So it's right behind me. It's right there. Fully done. I even I even rebuilt the cage because I didn't like it. So we were just because we were just waiting. So I rebuilt the cage, made a bunch of carbon fiber stuff. It's funny because people here knew and Nicole and Josh knew I was in the hospital with my fiance who was having a baby before many of my friends did. <laughs> that is funny. Nicole asked all the time, Quacker, has he had her baby yet? No, not yet. 
I went to win it, so Josh buys it for me and I make him build me five yards on a stream. <laughs> I I said that. I said, no matter who wins it, I'm going to send it to them. So they have it in their possession, but then I'm going to try and buy it back from them immediately. Because <laughs> I actually really liked how it came out, and I'd like to own it. But, right, let's drop this on. Wheel nut. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm just putting the third of fourth wheel on now, but at least it gives a full picture. Boom. There we go. Don't worry about that little guy. We'll tuck that up. We'll get everything else running. But that looks... Pretty darn good. We've got, so we've got some rock jocks on there with incision shafts and uh, vanquished gears. We've got underdrive gears in the rear, standard gears in the front. So it's got a little bit of overdrive, about 10%. Uh, it's got a vanquished transmission kit in it. So a fully built transmission. It's got incision drive shafts, 90 mil incision shocks. Uh, the incision 12 millimeter, or. 12 inch wheelbase kit. So same as stock, but stainless. So no flex of the stock plastic kit. Like I said, we did the Hobbywing Fusion motor, which is a motor ESC combo. So it was just simple. Um, I do need to throw in a Futaba receiver, which I had here, right here. We're gonna use the 2106 GF. Nice small receiver. It's the one I, I like to use the most. The servo is a Power Hobbies and it's the 8014MG. It's a direct power. So there's no BEC needed because the Fusion's BEC is pretty weak. So that's why we're bypassing that with a direct power ESC. Um, Vanquish servo horn on that. And we've got the new Method 105s in gold with the GR8 scale hardware the black hardware in the center, which is long in the front to go through the brake rotors, and short in the rear, which is the standard length. 350 hubs with the stainless brake rotors in the front, 475 hubs in the rear to match the width between them. I've got 80 weight shock oil front and rear. The incision drive shafts, which is just one length, works fine. We did have to flip the transmission around to make sure that we cleared the upper link with that fusion pan. We do need to do a little bit of adjustment to get the front pan hard to clear the servo during compression, but that's pretty standard uh, with the Wraith 1.9. Beyond that, we changed the gearing a little bit. We went to a 52.15 as far as spur and pinion. That's to get a little bit more speed out of that 1800 kV fusion. Beyond that, everything else, stock is ripped out. I will do the fastback mod, so I'll cut the back of this cage off. We'll do that back there to change the look up. Probably make an aluminum hood pan or roof panel. And that's it. I mean, that's a lot. It's a whole new truck now. It's a beauty. Um, but this is kind of my ultimate 1.9 Wraith. So, art receiver again. 2106 GF. 2106 GF. It's technically an air receiver and it's technically six channels, but it works with almost any Fataba radio that is FHSS, which is most of them. Most of them run FHSS. So it's the cheapest one they make too. And that's why I run it. Uh, super low profile lay down style rather than the pin up, it's the pin flat. Um, extra slots so you can put other things in there. All the good stuff. Ultimate one nine wraith in a night minus one tire. Will you do a rear sway bar? Nope, not for me. Um, no, no sway bars on this rig. That's my plan. Pretty happy with it. I like how this thing came out. We did the Proline trenchers. We did Crawler Innovations foams, soft in the front, medium in the rear, comp cut with heavyweight inner foams. That's about as much as I can rattle off. We did do uh, Vanquish inner rear shafts, incision front universal shafts, uh, Vanquish lockers, Vanquish gears. I think we said that. 
I can't think of anything else I could possibly say about it. You guys were awesome. Thanks for hanging out tonight. We got a lot done. Hope you guys have an awesome rest of your weekend. We'll see you for the scale news on Tuesday, unless I make a video before that, but I don't think I'm going to. Hope you guys had a good time. I got more coming up for Axial Fest prep because the Ripper needs to be prepped, but I'm waiting on custom panels to arrive and more. Have a good night. See you guys later.